What's up, everybody? You're listening live and on the download to Roundtable Wrestling Radio for September 7th, 2015. I'm Joey924, and with me, as always, from Queens, New York. The one, the only, the Byron. From PH, Michigan. The other guy, Sean Lathrop. From Santa Ella, California. Manda Panda. And uh, didn't you play that before, Sean? Yeah, Manda recommended me to play it again for Jimmy Snuka. Wouldn't it have been wise to play Jimmy Snuka's thing? <laughs> It Shuba, would have been. Shuba, Shuba, you go to jail. <laughs> or Oz theme song. Oz wouldn't have been a bad theme, actually. <laughs> you didn't Why didn't say you think of this earlier? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the right after, was it Tuesday, I guess? Or I think yeah. it might have been Tuesday. Uh, massive story, of course, after our show. As always, uh, every major story always breaks after our show but uh it is a major one superfly jimmy snooker has been officially charged with the death of his girlfriend from 1983 something that we have joked about throughout the years on the show and was common knowledge and we always made jokes about it but now it's pretty real <laughs> so superfly well, jimmy snooker i knew that dirty guy did it 73 year well we don't know if he did it he's charged with it man he did it yeah, he did it. Um, <laughs> he he didn't do anything yet. I don't know what you're talking about. He did it. Well, what here's you, the thing. What do you the mean? reason you why police yeah. even considered um, arresting him was because in his book that he published in 2012, it described a completely different story than his official report. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And uh, also really put in Bill after former guest of the show, uh, he's really been attacking the mainstream journalist about this, saying that he actually hasn't been arrested. He came in after they called him. He, there is nothing about this, him being arrested or him being charged as the... No, he got arrested, arrested, Sean. He, 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 got arrested he came arrested, but, yeah, he went to, to but he went to the jail himself. He walked there, but the news media made it sound like they went to his home and arrested him. What is the difference? He got arrested and he's charged with the death of his girlfriend. <laughs> one's him going in there getting guns ablaze, and the other one's him coming in calmly. He well, surrendered he's a seventy-three-year-old man who has apparently, to, according to Jim Ross, dementia. Which is, that's the first I heard about that. Hey, you what? know what? He turned myself in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he has stomach cancer. Uh, I, you know, well, he, he, he actually he doesn't. Himself, he doesn't he have stomach in. cancer. The stomach cancer was removed in a surgery. Oh. Well, whatever. When he's in jail, I mean, imagine. Yeah. If he turned himself in, though, doesn't that kind of prove that he has his faculties? I mean. No. No? Who the hell? Probably he heard about He's like, okay. Nobody would turn themselves in if they didn't have their faculties. Maybe he confused it with his home. We don't know. Yeah. He confused the police station with his home. I belong here. 30, 30. Whatever years it's been, he's confused the police station with his home. Sure, that's what happened. That's what happened. But what's I think the more fascinating part of the story is that Vince McMahon yes, mm -hmm. yes. might be uh, a little bit involved here. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything. Yeah. He, by the way, I don't think anything is going to happen. I heard, I heard he too. loved her while he did it. Yeah, that what? he. Uh, he what? could be a hit for accessory to the murder, the fact that he kind of tried hiding it and protecting uh, Jimmy Snuka. So he did, but he didn't physically have anything to do with it, right? No, but you could still be arrested for accessory to murder. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if Byron kills somebody and you help him hide the body, you can still be arrested for accessory. Right, yes. but did Vince, help, did Vince uh, hide the body? Vince hide the evidence. That's what we're understanding. Well, it said that meeting that he had with some lawyers, and now those people are like two of them are judges, and he went in with the briefcase. Right. And Jimmy said, "Like I don't know what the conversation was about." Mm. Ah, tell yeah. So we're saying <laughs> that uh, going by that, assuming, yes, assuming, yes. making that known, that <laughs> Sno Vince McMahon could have walked in there and paid him off not to arrest. Jimmy Snook, if that's the case. What? That hey, that's just going by that statement. What what else would Vince McMahon be carrying a giant briefcase to talk to the cops about? Hey, check okay, it out. I got you an autograph for Hogan. I want to buy championship. You, so you're so Sean, you think that Vince McMahon 
paid off the police so that they wouldn't arrest him? What, are you crazy? We've heard That's worse crazy. stories. I mean, we heard the, him do the same thing. He paid off people. Yeah, but you uh, pay yeah. off the police is a very different thing. That's He's a paid off a major crime. crime. <laughs> yeah, a major <laughs> fucking crime. The uh, article. A major now, nice crime. <laughs> what? I'll look at the article that I read, and so you guys can read it exactly. One thing is for sure is that this is a major story. It was front page uh, in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. uh, made the newspapers, and also, you know what? I was actually at my mom's house and. On ABC News, that was the uh, the lead story was uh, the Superfly Jimmy Snuka thing. So this is a pretty massive story. So if Vince McMahon paid off the cops, allegedly, allegedly, uh, which I haven't seen anywhere, it was so just I pretty much I don't even know where you're doing getting the that. Long arms, I'll pay you. What, what exactly? <laughs> what exactly do you think he paid off the cops to do? Uh, to not to arrest him, not to press charges press. type thing. Okay, they met Okay, with, that obviously uh, didn't work. Amanda's district gone. attorney and a medical examiner at, a, at the, dump, in dump, the DA dump. office oh. law library. Whoa. And okay. it says here that all I, um, according to Snooker's book, all I remember is McMahon had a briefcase with him. I don't know what happened. The only thing I know for sure is I didn't hurt Nancy. So we're talking about Vince having a briefcase during 1983. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. now. Not a briefcase. But again, yeah, it's again. Yeah, in 1983, he oh, went with Vince, district attorney, and so, uh, I thought you guys were saying that Vince brought a briefcase now. In no, the, no. Oh, no. In 83. Vince McMahon had a, a blue blazer. So he tried to pay them off then. Right. Oh, okay. That's what he could be hit allegedly I don't for think accessory. Man would help cover this guy off. I, I, I think, think so. so. I mean, yeah. he was the biggest thing in '82, really. Um, I don't know if he was yeah, that big, but yeah, but that's <laughs> this was '83. I don't know I don't if he was that. so big that Vince would, you know, cover up a murder. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think so. I, I seriously doubt he would have wanted to get involved with that, especially with. His I mean, company. it's possible. Don't say yeah, it's but, not possible because it is. Yeah, but his company was picking up at that time. I don't think he would put himself in that situation. That's true. Where, you know? That's true. I, don't, I don't know. He's don't. made some pretty bad decisions before. He has. That, yeah, true. but we're talking about murder. I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a, totally a different ballpark. Different, yeah. No, but that's another level. Man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeah. Let, let me, let me just, but let me just put it this way, too. Uh, yeah, I, at this point, you know, the... I, is anything really going to happen to Superfly? Probably not. He could yeah. still be arrested, press charges for the murder. And he was. A, well, he, he's been, uh, he hasn't been arraigned yet. No, but he's been absolutely charged with the murder. Yeah, but he hasn't been arraigned. He hasn't been found guilty. That's pretty not much what's right. happened. That's, that's when a trial well, commences. Can we, is it safe to say that? Um, no. Will he will rot in jail? <laughs> it's, not, it's not safe to say anything. He's, uh, is it safe to say that his daughter still has a job yeah, yeah. I, I can't imagine they'll fire Tamina because her dad killed someone 20 years ago I, I no I, that I disagree with I could definitely imagine them firing Tamina because his father committed is it safe to say that they will never reference her as Superfly yes yeah that's that's true they won't even call her Tamina Snook anymore it's just Tamina well, she has been Tamina Snuka for a while, so... But they would still, like, reference it on commentary. Oh, that's Tamina Snuka or whatever. Right. Yeah, they're not going to do that. But I could, mm. I could see them firing her so that they could distance themselves uh, totally away from him. I, I believe they already took him off oh, the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he's already been Chris Benoit. Yeah, yeah fine. <laughs> Which I really... I'm really hating the fact they do this anytime somebody's done this in the past, whether it's Snooker, <laughs> whether it's Hogan. It's like, yeah, okay, he killed somebody uh, yeah, 30 years like, ago. Just, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just like Sean, I mean, just like Jim Ross said, stop comparing Hogan saying the well, N-word I'm not comparing murder. it. I'm saying they, Hulk Hogan and Jimmy Snooker got the exact same treatment, but these guys were kind of icons. You can't just eliminate them from history like that. Okay, if Snooker, if Snooker did this, yes, you can I'm eliminate. That is not the same thing as saying the N-word when you're angry. I'm, I'm not necessarily saying they should. Just the practice in general. Whether I mean, it's the N-word or... Man, that's, that's, that's hardcore shit, you know? That's yeah. going over the line, no matter what the situation was. I don't, I don't give a damn what the excuse was. I don't care if he was on drugs, whatever. But now you're thinking of it like... 
You remember that time when Roddy Piper hit Stevie Richards with a coconut? Or remember when Stevie Richards and The Undertaker faced off at WrestleMania? You're eliminating so you much remember, history. Do you remember how Hogan felt about Roddy Piper dying and how he felt so glad that he passed away that all the, what? All the attention? <laughs> That's what Bret Hart said. <laughs> That's what Bret Hart said? Yeah, you didn't see what he said? No, well, Bret Hart he has been that. so vocal lately, man. Yeah, you uh, want to see needs, Sean? He, he needs to shut up, is what I think. No, no, no uh, it's funny, but Sean, go ahead. If you've read it, tell me uh, what, what are you talking about? You talk about the Hogan one. I, I don't know the Hogan one as much as some of the other ones he said. Well, from what I read, uh, Bret said that Hogan, he must have felt so happy that Piper passed away. Oh, my at God. At the same time, around the time where he was having the problem. And it, it drove the attention away from him to Piper's death. Which it really Hogan, didn't. Hogan actually replied to this and said, I can't believe uh, that you would say something so horrible. Yeah, that's messed uh, up. That's, that's so disrespectful. Well, in all honesty, I still love you, brother. <laughs> God, be, God be with you. And how is that, that messed, is up? messed I mean, we, up? though, man. We said that the exact same time when Piper passed yeah. away. It's like, you know Hogan must wish. That's that what, is, yeah, I remember, man, saying, I, I remember Byron saying, said you, it. Do you really think Hogan was happy that Piper died so that he could I get... Think, that's yeah. ridiculous, man. Come yeah, on. but you know what? I think... Me and, 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 let's, and, let's, and let's remember the source. Bret Hart absolutely despises Hogan. That's right. not a reliable source. But you know what's crazy is that I thought the same exact thing that Bret Hart... <laughs> There was I, probably I, other people that thought the I, same that thing. That didn't even cross my mind. Honestly, that's <laughs> ridiculous. Well, it did when he said on the show. But there, Bret Hart actually said a lot in this interview. He's had a... Uh, yeah, what else do you have to say? Uh, he he said that... that hope he never comes back. I, I'm, glad, I'm glad Bret Hart is not bitter anymore. That, that's, uh, that's he a said, good thing, Bret. There, here's just a few items we said. We can break them down. But these are the big ones. He said the click was a cancer for both WWE and oh. WCW. Wow. He said well, the Owen Hart should be inducted by WrestleMania 32 if everything goes well. And he also said that CM Punk took bit the bullet so pretty much and has actually helped WWE so much for leaving the company. What does that mean? Because the fact that he kind of left, he's kind of forced the WWE kind of change what he has had to do. And we've kind of thought the same thing a lot as well. They're like, if Punk did not leave, Daniel Bryan wouldn't be where he was. Seth Rollins wouldn't be where he was or is. It, his mm. leaving, everything he did in the WWE, despite the fact that it wasn't really relevant, I guess you could say, did seem to have left a huge impact in that company. Well, that's not why CM Punk did all that. <laughs> that's how he said it. And that's right. how Bret Hart felt about it, too. But that's ridiculous. CM Punk left because he was bitter and uh, angry and certainly had no, no clue that they were going to push Daniel Bryan or Seth Rollins for that matter. So that's, I, I, you know, again, Brad, I, you know, Brad Hart, I, he, he go, you know, he's on this DVD with Shawn Michaels talking about like, you know, everything is in the past, you know, forgiveness and this, this and that. But every chance Bret Hart gets on an interview, he's bashing the click. But he didn't really bash know. him. He just basically oh, no, he just said they were a cancer. Yeah, oh. but he was saying <laughs> they were. I mean, yeah, he didn't actually, bash them, though. Thank God. No, 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 no. Basically, Bret Hart didn't really... He wasn't on a bash rap no. with them. He basically said what it was yeah. back then. He was, he, was, he was bashing Hogan, though. Sure. Yeah, he he was be- taking craps on Hogan, but he, yeah. it's true about the uh, click being a cancer. So you say, I mean, you say that he spread his butt cheeks and took I, a crap. I think Hogan. I think yes. they might have asked him about the click, and I think he responded. That's all. But yeah. I, I don't think he was on a rant uh, about that. Come on, man. Like, and let's I face can definitely it. tell you. I can definitely tell you he looks awesome in the fucking two kicks at sixteen. And that, yeah. let's face it. I mean, he is <laughs> right he about that kids. though. That <laughs> the click was kind of a cancer. I mean, they say that they ruined WCW and they almost hurt. WWE for a while it looked like uh, okay so. but to Bret Hart who was uh you know wanting the WWE title every minute of every day yes the, the click was a cancer but the click was not a cancer to anybody else who was enjoying that time period they were the best thing oh. <laughs> yeah tell me how well that went for WCW how well the click helped Rey oh. Mysterio or any WCW of those guys. did not go down the tubes because of Kevin Nash and Scott Hall just like they didn't go down the tubes because of Vince Russo they went down the tubes for reasons. poor booking. That's the big thing they always say. And the AOL merger and several other factors. Mm-hmm. But, you know, to say that they were a cancer, if if the click had not done what the click did, there would be no Monday Nitro and no Monday Night Wars in terms of uh, what happened because of the click. So I don't see how that's cancerous. Bre- Again, Bret Hart, to his 
Yeah, but Bret Hart is yes. old school, man. No matter what, he looks at it. No matter what, what kind of uh, high rise they went with in the business because of DX and because yeah. of the NWO, he will always look at it as yeah. it was bad. Yeah, well, Bret Hart made the decision of leaving, and Bret Hart uh, should have stayed in the WWE. That you know, and honestly, I, if you really, Bret Hart is still bitter, man. That's the only thing that bugs me I, I about it is that I don't really see Bret Hart is bitter. bitter. I mean, you look at really. You look, let me let me explain. Yeah. We look at Bret Hart in comparison. Say, okay, the guy who's been treated like crap more than anybody else in that company, Jim Ross. Bret Hart will still tell it like it is and speak his opinion. Jim Ross is still kissing WWE's ass left and right. What does that have to do with him being bitter? I'm having to say that I respect the fact that Bret Hart, despite being a member of the Hall of Fame and all that, he has no problem speaking his mind and doesn't care what That's WWE true. thinks. That's what That's I like true. about the fact Bret Hart isn't saying, you know, Vince is a visionary. I, I love working with him now. No, <laughs> he'll tell you like it is. I respect the fact that he's like that. Yeah, but for a lot of people like myself, it comes off as bitter. You know, it comes off as, you know, you're, he's still angry about all of the things that went down at that time period. You know what? You know what? Especially he, with Hogan. You can never say how it affected him because he went through a lot of bullshit. In he that did. Company. Yeah, sure. Like, Both of them. And all that stuff. So. But you he, know what? He went back. <laughs> he went back because he had no choice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he had a choice, man. He that, won- that's, that's retarded. He had not, a choice. And not to mention, as... And not even just mentioning Jim Ross, though. Everyone, though, does kind of do that kissing WWE's ass after they treated him like oh, crap. Yeah, for sure. So uh, it, you say he's bitter. I say I'm glad Bret Hart speaks I, his I, I like think this. there's elements of bitterness, yes. There uh, probably the is. Stuff on Hogan, you know, he, to say that Hogan ha- was happy because Piper died, come on. How dare that's, you, Byron? That's not, that's not a guy that's not bitter. That's for uh, what reason, I, you know, okay, okay it, Hogan didn't help you get pushed. So what? Uh, Bro- Joey, I would agree with you if Byron didn't say that the exact same night Piper died or Piper's tribute. That's because some people think like that, but that's, yeah, a, so, that's so, a really harsh but, thing but, to but think. Brad, but for Brad Hart to say that, somebody that knows Hulk Hogan? Yeah. That's a somebody thing. who, thought, you know, he didn't hang out with Hulk Hogan, so I don't know if you would classify <laughs> that as knows was, Hulk Hogan. He was around Hogan for years. He knows what Hulk Hogan... What he, he thinks he is. He basically also stated that Hogan, behind closed doors, used to use the N word all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. So, Which I, I believe. Mean, I mean, who are you going to believe? Brett or. And, and, and out of all of those guys in the back, back then, he, Hogan was the only one that used the N word, right? Oh, there was <laughs> others sure, too. A lot of guys, but you know, he's the guy. Who's <laughs> Shawn up. Michaels never used the N word. He's the guy in front, of, in, in front of attention right now. It's Hogan, not the other guy. So, right, he's speaking. Of but Bret I don't, Hart, I don't think Bret Hart I, I, has a personal agenda in that. I don't think I don't really honestly think that Bret Hart is making things up. I think I'm not saying he's making things up. I'm just saying like let it go. <laughs> but I think I think yes, there's bitterness involved with it. Yes, for sure, hundred percent. But there's also truthness to what he's saying. Absolutely, How but you know that to me that's like kicking somebody when they're down. You know, there's no need for it. I'll kick them down as much as I can too. <laughs> There's a, to me, there's no need for it. And the other, the other thing is, is like, again, okay, you want to be bitter. You want to be angry about Hogan and, you know, stopping your push or whatever, like 20 years ago. But, but to say that he's happy about Piper dying, I mean, that's, that's a really harsh statement. The thing is this, but the thing is, Bret Hart knows his character. So mm-hmm. I, I think he basically said that, not knowing it for 100% sure that's what it was, but I think he said it because of the way he knows Hogan, the way he acts, the way he is, his personality. The way he thinks, everything about it, that's why he expressed himself. The Piper, way. by the way, and, and the other crazy thing about it is that Piper's death did nothing to help Hogan. Uh, it kind of did. Not really, because WWE barely paid attention to the fact that Piper died. No, but I'm saying in the news media, yes, it did. It kind of, it kind of. No, Superfly, if, if anything, Hogan should be happier about Superfly. Because that sure. was way bigger of a story. Yeah, but Ho- this was around the same time with Hogan and Piper. This was like almost around the same time. And I remember they interviewed Piper. Are you telling me that you genuinely believe that Hulk yeah. Hogan was happy that Piper died? Okay. That's yes. A, that's a I think it's statement. really a justice story. Honestly. I think it's Hogan is happy that Piper took the headlines away from him. Yes, Not that he died. That, yes, yeah. There you go. <laughs> wow. I don't believe that for one second. Did you hear the news, Dad? Piper's dead. Yes, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm so glad I thought I'd beat him. <laughs> like, I don't think it went that way. I think it was I'll just like me, but fuck you. <laughs> I don't know, Amanda. What do you think? You've been quiet. Yep, I agree. <laughs> Sorry, I had I was on mute. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, Amanda, you like uh, Roddy Piper, uh, obviously, because you had that picture, the infamous picture of uh, you and Piper's uh, attire. So what do you <laughs> yeah. think about all this? I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say, especially. OK, let me ask oh, you, do, do you think Hogan is happy or was definitely happy? Definitely not. No. Do you think he was happy that Piper took the headlines from him, asking yeah. that question? Yeah. I don't really think it took. The headline. I don't think so either, by the way. I really don't. I don't think that Piper took the headline no, away from Hogan. Me, let me tell you something. First of all, I wanted to say something. Um, if any of you guys had a dream job, right? Right. Yeah. And you were doing it for a while and you loving every moment of it, and you're enjoying it, you can't believe the kind of dream uh, job you have. And then a guy walks into the company, he does everything in his power to, to make your life a living hell there and to destroy your cure your position and where you stand and he takes your spot. He goes, he elevates himself all the way to the top and he does everything in his power to stop you from going back up there. What does this have to do with Triple H? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't you have such a, and, and you get, and you get lost in the shuffle, you lose your job. But wouldn't you have some kind of bitterness for the rest of your life? Okay. Who are you talking about? Because that could be a lot of guys. Well, I'm really? talking about Bret Hart and Hogan. Because Hogan did screw Bret Hart in the WWE. Bret, Bret Hart did not lose his job because of Hogan. No, but I'm saying, I'm just giving you an example. The the bitterness that he has for Hogan, I can understand it. The bitterness w was that Hogan didn't want to work with him in 93 when the whole Yokozuna thing went down. And that's I, that's his bitterness. And I don't and think it's that big of a deal to be this well, bitter for 30, you know, almost 30 fairness, years In fairness, Joey... His bitterness, as you're using, Bret Hart was isn't... massively successful. If he was never successful, then I would be like, okay, you're... you know. But Bret Hart was massively successful. But, but your Yoko... bitterness, as far as Bret Hart Bret. goes, isn't just because of '93 with Yokozuna, because they've had the same kind of problems even WCW with Bret Hart constantly having to be but, in the United States the, title field, reality, not the though. world here, title field. Here's the Hogan actual reality, and I love Bret Hart. He's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. But Bret Hart during that time period. And and before that time period, was it the star that Hulk Hogan was? Well, so, Hogan didn't think a lot of people were on his level. He but was, he wasn't. Yeah. But he but they weren't. Bret Hart That's was true. taking Hogan over. Hogan was though. the only one selling the kind of merchandise. I mean, the kind of um, arenas and all that. You think why? Bret Hart was doing but, that? Yeah, but this is why I'm telling when you. Bret Hart became champion, it went down the but attendance. This is why I'm telling you, Hogan was the type of guy. He, he was like a Triple H. If, if, He's on top. He doesn't want nobody being there. Absolutely. That I agree with. I think that's wrong. So I think he, I could understand his bitterness towards Hogan. And he, I and can he, understand and I can understand his bitterness towards Hogan at that time, but not 20 but, damn years but, later. But, but, check this out. But just like Sean said, when Bret Hart went to WCW, the same crap all over. Him. That's mm -hmm. true. So I, that's think, true. I think that's... It, but again, if, if, but like I said before, if Bret Hart had never been champion ever, you know, but he was the five-time champion. He was, um, you know, he was there with the Hart Foundation during one of the best time periods of all time. Bret Hart had a lot of success, a lot of success. To be bitter now, all these years later, still, I mean, I, honestly, I just don't get it. I really don't. If anything, Shawn Michaels screwed Bret Hart way more than Hulk Hogan ever did. But way he, more. And yeah, he's sitting there on a DVD with Shawn Michaels. But there's a big difference. Hogan never apologized to Brett. Yeah. Hogan never sat down and did this. Wow, he, what, is he, he, what does he have to apologize for exactly? What do you mean? What, that, I, that you're not a bigger star? Listen, if I was Bret Hart and I felt like this guy doesn't want to do a job to me, I think I would feel some type of way towards but at that, But at that time, I don't think Hogan, I don't think Bret Hart should have uh, gone over Hogan at that time. Bret Hart in 1992-93 was not the star that he even, eventually even became. Before. Even he before. had just come from the Hart Foundation. It would have looked ridiculous if a but, Bret Hart would have defeated Hulk Hogan. Uh, do you see a lot of things happening nowadays? <laughs> this is something like He's that. He's got I mean, a point. Like <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? I mean, there's, there's things like that that happen now. There's guys that come out of nowhere like freaking Kevin Owens and nobody knows him. Way different time period. 
but way that's, different time But period. I'm saying things could have worked that way also back then. It's not like it can't work. The thing is, Hogan was 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 just stupid. I'm 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 with, I'm just, with Hogan on on that particular time period. I'm with Hogan on that. I, I and the same thing the same thing with Goldberg and Jericho. When Jericho was, you know, he still talks about that. When he was complaining about that, how Goldberg didn't want to fight him, Jericho was not Jericho at that time. He was a cruiserweight wrestler. Jericho just wanted to fight him, not go over him. It's the same thing with Bret Hart. No, Jericho wanted to do some of Jericho wanted to do Jericho things in the match, and Goldberg was like, it would look ridiculous if Jericho did certain things in that match. When I'm Goldberg and I'm destroying like massive giants, and this guy wants to do certain things in that match, I agree with Goldberg. It would have looked ridiculous, booking wise. It would have looked ridiculous. I don't know. And Hogan, and again, Bret Hart was not when Bret Hart became champion in '92. I remember that very distinctly because I was like, "What? Bret Hart defeated Ric Flair? Like it didn't even make sense." And I was a Bret Hart fan. It is still didn't even make that much sense but, to me that Bret Hart beat Ric Flair out of all. Is, I think Hogan could have still worked with him, even even if Bret Hart had to job. Yeah, Bret, Bret, Hart, Bret Hart didn't want a job. You, you know damn well he didn't. He wanted Hogan to put he him over. Anything with Bret. That's the problem. Uh, so does any again, guys I, have, I think Hogan has a case. Do you guys have any thoughts about the Owen Hart situation then he was saying? Before we get to that, and just to end this real quick, okay, let's say that everything that you're saying is completely accurate, even though I disagree 100% as far as who was the star and who was not the star. That, I, didn't say, that was, I, didn't say, I didn't say Bret Hart was the best. Um, no, no, I'm not saying that you did. I'm just saying I understand where Hogan was coming from at that time. But to say that he was happy that Piper died, I mean, that, that's, that's, over the, you know, that's overkill. You know, like over over um, position in the company, and again, Bret Hart had massive success. Hogan didn't stop his success. Ultimately, he had massive success afterwards, and I'm sure that maybe Hogan might have done differently uh, if Bret Hart was the star that he eventually became. But he wasn't in '93, man. Bret Hart was not a star in '93. He was the champion from from November of '92 and lost the title in in uh, March or April. Of 93 to Yokozuna in a very fairly easy match for Yokozuna. Braha was not considered, uh, you know, a massive star. He eventually became that. But again, I, I don't care what the situation is. To say that somebody's happy when somebody dies, you have to have real evidence of that. But you know what? But you know what? We, a lot of people right now are, are, um, are it's, we, when we, by the way, when we say it, we're joking around on a show. Right, right. That but, is dead serious. But, but here's the thing. Um, I think a lot of people are aware of H Hogan's actions, how he really is behind That's true. Doors. That's true. And um, I think it was a shocker when people found out. Well, I don't think it was a shocker. I think a lot of people, the way Hogan present, presents himself, I've heard him on radio stations, like hip hop stations. He acts very like, like he's a young kid. Like right. He's 20 years old. He'll still talk about weed. He'll start like his slang starts coming out, and <laughs> the way he's he he from Venice Beach, yeah. But what you see on TV, <laughs> the hard streets of Venice Beach, California. <laughs> <laughs> but what you see on TV, I think, is a very phony guy. Absolutely, yeah. he has a persona, and that's why I say that in twenty years, maybe less, we're gonna find out all kinds of crazy shit about John Cena. Because nobody is that good. I'm sorry. Man, you know what? John nobody. Cena always and you're right, maybe, but John Cena's always he's never gave him he's never given me that impression right. that Hogan has. He has a persona and it's very well protected. But I've heard him in interviews and he sounds exactly the same way like you would hear him when he's sincere talking about certain things at WWE. Like he's he comes off the same exact way. Hogan but doesn't nobody's, but nobody's that clean cut. And you're right, Hogan is not. But uh, but nobody is as clean cut as John Cena appears to be i think that's one of the good things that is like if you're comparing the cena and the hogan or even the rock and austin rock and austin they were heel once in a while even when cena uh, hogan was a face he was still eye raking and choking people during matches right so. but again i mean my my only thing my biggest gripe about all of it is saying that hogan was happy that piper died i, I think that's that's just way way too much i think Bryce said that because he just wanted to, to piss him off that's pretty much it and i think they must have, he must feel kind of believing he believes in that because of what he how he said it. absolutely you know what I'm saying because he, he oh I, I know that I know that for sure Hogan, 
and I think he believes that's what Bogut felt. Absolutely, but I think Brett. Uh, I think Bret Hart is also saying it because of how he personally feels about Hogan. He just 100%. does not like Hogan. 100%. So he I takes know. advantage of that, and he presents it out there. Every chance he's gotten throughout the years, he has slammed Hogan for everything. You, Hogan, by the way, has never done that in public. I can tell you this much. They, um, before Piper died, this was the last interview he did. I think he did with uh, TMZ, and they asked him outside. Uh, shoot, they asked him about Hogan. And what he feels about this whole racist thing. Yeah. And Piper lied. <laughs> okay. How do you know that? Because I know. Piper said, I've uh, never heard Hogan say uh, the N word ever. And, uh, of course, you're asking Piper, who himself <laughs> said the N word many times. But that's my point. You you believe in your heart Hogan never, ever said that word? No, I, I, by the way, I, I have, I've never, ever said that. I, what I'm saying is that I dispute Hogan being a racist. There's a difference between saying the N word and being a racist. There is a difference. Can I tell you something? Yeah. You don't say all that stuff out of nowhere. What he said is because he feels that way. No, I don't. I don't agree with that. If you say nigga, it's because you're using that because you're used no, to saying that. In the I'm sport. talking about people that and say nigger. I'm talking yeah. about right. just but because you say that does not mean you hate. Hogan it despises black people. But my whole thing I, is Hogan said it in a different way. I understand he didn't that. Say it where where it was nigga. He basically said this monkey and I, right. this, this this you know blah blah blah. And I, I can't believe she's dating. I, I but I but I but I've been <laughs> but I've been privy to people in fights. And I'm talking about incredibly heated fights where they go to that because that's what they think is going to hurt the person. It the doesn't person- necessarily mean. That they're uh, anti-black people. Did you see? Did you see the interview he did with uh, what is it? Good Day America or whatever the hell yeah. it was. No, I didn't. Okay. okay, well he was on that and he started crying. First of all, I'm gonna tell you this one: that guy sucks acting. Because <laughs> I didn't believe anything that came out of that guy's mouth. He was crying. I don't think. I don't. I don't, I don't I, I, but I think it's because you don't like him. No, it's, not. It's, it's the same. It's the Pat Hart syndrome. But I think if he was sincere, I think I would have recognized it, and I think I would have felt it. You get what I'm saying? But when he said it and the way he expressed it, I felt like it was just him acting, so people give him sympathy. Like, oh man, this guy's not really, you know? I don't know. I didn't see it. So I, Hogan is. I, he's always had that thing about him where he's just a character on TV, and now we're try- now he's trying to show us the real guy. I don't think he's like a racist. Like crying on, on shows and saying, "It's not me, brother." I don't. I don't. But I don't think he's a racist, and I don't think I don't think it, people that say that word particularly are racist. In fairness, I don't think it makes you a racist. Why so, doesn't somebody interview Hogan and say, "Hogan, why don't you lay it down on the line? Like, just, just really tell everybody who you really are." Well, brother, I really smoke weed. Uh, I don't. That, really that doesn't make you a bad person. No. It doesn't, but at least tell people who you really are. If you want people to really buy into your stuff. Well, I mean, he has a 35, 40 year legacy. You think he's going to start doing that now? <laughs> uh, it's too late now. <laughs> I don't think, I, see that? I don't think. I, I don't think it's too late. Course, I don't think it's too late legacy. for, unless you're a child molester, I don't think it's too late, or murderer. I don't think it's too late for anybody to recover. They actually contacted the WWE to see what. I know. They, know. they said, they, they said no. <laughs> They don't believe what he said. They, that's what they said. I think W. By, by the way, but uh, they are WWE are incredible hypocrites. They are. Yes, they, they are incredible hypocrites for singling out Hulk Hogan for, for that. When if what Sean said earlier about Vince trying to pay off the police to keep Superfly off of a murder charge, allegedly. I don't want to hear anything about WWE standards. <laughs> Because they have no standards. They have standards when it works for them. That's their standards. Whenever it works for them, that's when they bring out the standards. Hey, Sean, you got to play that that clip, man. Sean, what were you what were you gonna say about Owen? Uh, yes, Owen Hart. Another thing Bret Hart was talking about is the fact that the WWE does have a new DVD coming out, Owen Heart of Gold, which is supposed oh. to be about Owen Hart, a lot of his legacy. I, I would imagine that it's about Owen. I would imagine it's about Owen Hart since it's called Owen Hart. Yeah, did Bret Hart trash that DVD? No, he actually, um, he did. What? (laughs) He said that uh, the DVD, he's excited that the DVD is going to be happening, but he's not optimistic. It's saying WWE DVDs are usually not great and they're going to tiptoe around things so they don't.
don't offend oh, Owen's God. widow, Martha Hart, this which I definitely the believe I, they don't I don't, wanna... I don't think he's awesome at all, man. The, the guy, the guy, I, and I'm a I fan. think he's right I'm, about I'm a that. I think, fan, though. I think no, he's right, though. He, I don't, I don't agree with that. You don't think WWE has some great DVDs? I think I mean, WWE is definitely going to tiptoe and not trying to offend Martha. Like that's the big thing they're going to do with this DVD. And that's and that's wrong. I think that's uh-huh. why the DVD is not going to be like up to the standards of what it could be. They probably won't talk about his death what, that what much. What exactly? What exactly is going to offend Martha? Well, <laughs> exactly, exactly. She's exactly. going to offend. Her. She, but that's my point. <laughs> she she was going to sue the WWE because they mentioned him in the Hart family DVD. <laughs> uh, she's just ridiculous, honestly. Exactly. She's but just, also, he did mention as well in the interview. That he does think uh, Owen Hart should be inducted in the Hall of Fame some year, definitely by WrestleMania 32. He also thinks uh, British Bulldogs, Demolition, and The Anvil should be inducted as well. But that's okay. Is he talking about Jimmy Evan Lightheart by himself? No, it's sort of like a uh, Hart <laughs> Foundation group, the same way the Four Horsemen were. Is he talking about him by himself? Question mark. <laughs> Yo, imagine him going up on stage at The Anvil and start giving a speech. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who? No, literally, he was who? I get it. I'm being dead serious. He actually played a character named who? <laughs> who? But, yeah. Uh, so, speaking in Kingpin in context with Jim Neidhart and Bret Hart uh, and his awesome comments, um, we saw new screenshots for WWE 2K16 that did include Bret Hart. Jim yeah. Gamble, Neidhart, and several other attitude error. Very, 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 very impressed with the model. Man. Yeah. Uh, the models look good last year. <laughs> That's all the I'm saying. The models look better this year, though. They look way better this year, man. Really? Yeah. They way look better. about the same to me. but No. Oh, you see the, the shape of their, their actual jawlines and like, like they, stuff like that you can tell. It's a big somebody difference. actually did a uh, side-by-side of Stone Cold from last year to this year. Oh, yeah. And yeah, Stone Cold oh, looks they did? so... Yeah. I gotta. If I get that image, I'll put it up both on the Roundtable Wrestling Radio Thanks. group page and fan page, so you guys can see it. Yeah, I want to see that. But I'm. Uh, While well, I'm looking for that, I'm also. Why, gonna, but my question uh, is, um, number one, Sid is missing in action as far as I'm concerned. He should be in there because who? he was a ama- Sid. Oh, Jim and I don't. Sid should be in there because he was a major part of that time period that they're doing. So. Well, if you yeah. have Bret Hart, right. Jim Neidhart, well, Sid should definitely well, be in Sid there. Sid shouldn't I mean, really be champion. in there for the only reason because the guy, reason we're getting like X-Pac, Bret Hart, Jim Neidhart, all them, is because of the Stone Cold storyline. They're not talking about the Attitude Era. They're talking about Stone Cold's career. So I can understand why they're not going to have Sid it, in if he doesn't it, get it. They should still have Sid, though. Did Austin fight Sid? I don't think so. He had a couple of fights with him. Did he? As yeah. the ring man? No, as Steve Austin during that time period. I don't remember any of their fights. Man. Holy don't God, you remember same. we talked about Bret Hart going off? And yeah, Sid, but that Sid, was just a brawl. Right. They had, I believe they wrestled that in your house. Oh, my God. Imagine they actually redo that on the 2K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that, that, that's what they'll do. Dude, that would be freaking beautiful. Okay, I've got do. the uh, full <laughs> list. That I have the awesome, full list of guys that have been confirmed for this week. Uh this is list is better than last week's, in my opinion. We've got <laughs> Cactus Jack, Billy Gunn, the British Bulldog, Christian, Damian Sandow, Haku. I did not expect oh, Haku. Uh, I didn't expect yeah, you. I didn't expect Haku. Uh, Honky Tonk Man, Jake Roberts, Dude Love, Bret Hart, Jim Neidhart, X Pac, Vader, Rikishi, D'Lo Brown, Farouk, Kama, Ken Shamrock, Paul White. So that scares me that we're going to get a Paul White and a Big Show. Shane McMahon, Shawn Michaels, huh. Vince McMahon. We are going to get two shows. Are you seriously scared? I mean, well, they said that we were not going to get multiple copies of the same wrestler. But if we're going to get Paul covers? White and Big Show, that's that's a lot. They, they do they do consider Paul White to be different than the Big Show. So are they going to continue? They're going to consider like Big Show is in one character is in one slot, and then right. Paul White is another slot. Yep. So we're going to have like Hunter Hearst Helmsley, Triple H with hair, and Triple H without hair. Triple H with uh, big nose. Exactly. Here's my, and again, besides Sid, um, I don't like that Jim Neidhart doesn't have a jacket. He always had a jacket. Yeah, that, but we don't know. We don't know. What that was his entrance. That was his entrance. How do we really know that? That could have been the beginning. Because you can see the entrance video right behind him. Yeah, but I'm saying, 
that could have been a, a, a storyline. You know what I'm saying? Like no, he doesn't have a jacket. <laughs> you never know. He, I'm telling you, he doesn't have even a jacket. Even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't, you can add it because I know the jackets are in. Yeah, you can. Oh, you really- could. Yeah, you can adjust all the wrestlers, but we don't know yet if that but, takes away a create, create a wrestler spot or not. But why why are we doing work? <laughs> I think that's actually fun if you think yeah. about it. Because if, if if somebody's updated, you go back and you update their look. Or you and can, for oh, example, I, actually, we've never talked about this, and I don't know why anybody hasn't. But this is pretty damn interesting and a good thing for the game. Do you know what they're going to be doing? They're going to be. Watching uh, play online? I don't know. Well, yeah, they, they do that anyway. But no, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be updating their attires and oh. their entrance videos and their entrance throughout the year. Beautiful. I'm so glad they're doing that. So Same. basically like what 2K, the uh, basketball game does, they'll be doing it for the wrestling. And this is something that we've talked about for many, many years that we wanted. So if someone changes their entrance, they will update that. And download and, and, gears, and, and that? yeah, their gears, um, things like that. So that's so cool, man. I'm so glad they added that. Every you know, everything is officially back in the game. Like that, everything they took out, pretty much back in. It's looking good. They but, shouldn't have given us anything last year, really. Again, why they just should have just waited. Yeah. And I did see the gameplay. The gameplay has dramatically speeded up a little. I can see that. It I hope so. There's no more pause when the guy's on the ground complaining he's hurting his, his arm. Or, like, they'll, they'll just basically, literally, you can pick him up after he drops. Which is something that I hated that they did last year. Right. Also, Nation of Domination. Yep. I, guess I wonder so, if they stand these guys. I don't know. But they look good. Yeah, They do look good. I'm really excited that Delos. That's in the what game. I. That's what I was gonna say. Like, I'm. I'm happy about Brett and all of that, but I want to see people that have never been in the game. Delo. You know, there's still plenty of people that you can put in the game that have never been in the game. Like Mark Merrill. As I mean, as uh, Mark Merrill is not going to be in the game. Well, they got Jake Roberts in the game, so I wouldn't be surprised to put Mark no. Merrill part of that uh, legacy of Austin. We took on Merrill. You're the main guy. DDP is, yeah. Oh, and all Ledger. He's Slater? Yeah, he's in there Ledger? too. Ledger? No, actually, his main guy is the Divas, so the Divas are in there. Yeah. Oh, yes, the Divas. They are in there. Yeah. Yes. So you can have all the Diva matches you want, Sean. Speaking about the Divas. What about? Was, wait, right? I'm not finished about the game first. Okay. <laughs> so I still haven't seen anything about the music. And that's a major part. Honestly, honestly, I'm gonna. I know, you, I know, you don't care about that, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because um, it's cool to have that. Music, bugs the when crap I, out when of I make a video, I can edit it and I can add it on there and all that. But the only thing that that uh, I the reason I don't really care is because when I go online, you can't take that music online. Right, it's I, copyrighted issues. So to me, that's what kind of kills it, and it's not their fault. It's it's actually everywhere. That copyrighted stuff is so annoying. Even with video games now, when I upload them, I don't even know when I upload it, it will tell me you can't upload it or it's there, but it's copyrighted because of the music that's playing in the background. Like, it's just so annoying. But, Every- I don't, I, I, but for me personally, I know for a lot of people, they could care less about the online part and they just want to have the proper music for their wrestler. And that's a major part that you can't I, change the music. The for the for your creative wrestler or change the music or whatever, and no, I, that that just that takes me out of it. Do we know that it's not in? I mean, for sure. I don't. We don't know that it's not last, in for sure. But you guys said heard. last week that it was, and yeah. I haven't seen that it is. I I don't think I don't think I said it. Yeah, you did. I, I said, said it. hundred slots are in for sure. I was the one who said it. Somebody said it. Me. And, yeah. Amanda said it. Dang it, Amanda. That's because she's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Straight up, allegedly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she didn't deny it, see? <laughs> of course not. She can't deny it. Because she would be lying. Uh, I don't know why I started talking like Bane, but <laughs> whatever. That's Speaking cool. about Bane, uh, I saw Mad Max. And man, if anybody has not seen Mad Max, you need oh. to see Mad Max. Speaking okay. about, we were talking about video games. 
Uh, did you see the the gameplay that I posted up of Metal Gear? No, nope. and I'll tell you why. Because I don't want to ruin it for me. Exactly. <laughs> oh man, Dude. I'm gonna tell you this. First one. of all, I, let me just be honest for a second. All right, I yeah. s- I did watch three minutes of your video. Uh, I I shut it off because I realized within the, those three minutes, like, oh, I'm gonna get this game and I'm gonna see everything that happens right now, and I don't want to see that. The other thing was your unbelievably horrible commentary throughout the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to shoot myself uh, by the two-minute mark. And maybe, just maybe, I w- might have continued watching it if it wasn't for that reason. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I mean, Byron's, uh, you talk about Hogan's acting. <laughs> Byron's acting about, oh my God, I don't know what's going on here. Who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, holy crap. Hey, you know what? That's the first time I actually disobeyed it, so I had to, I had to act like I'm. No, actually, you didn't. You didn't no, have you, to. no, you don't. You honestly man. didn't have to. I, you're not gonna see anybody sit there like they're just playing the video. That's that, that's like, exactly why it's good, because <laughs> I'm not gonna see anybody. Well, maybe next time I'll do it that way. But I think I think people want to see the reaction and want to hear comments. But they don't. They want. Really I don't. Listen. I really don't. I think they want to see the game that's, and what's going on in the game. And by the way, speaking of that, one thing I noticed in that video was Keith Sutherland is in the game. Yeah, he plays Solid Snake. I'm not a fan of that. No, uh, he's not Solid Snake. He's the other guy that was with Solid Snake. Oh, you mean like his face is on there? No, his voice. Yeah, well, he I'm, voiced I'm Solid Snake. Keith no, Sutherland no, he voiced. Was play, he was the guy that was next to Solid Snake helping him in the hospital. Yeah, hey, double check on that because I played the uh, previous Metal Gear Solid Five game and he voiced Solid Snake in it. No, he wasn't. Um, if you watch the video that Byron played, uh, he was the guy that was helping uh, Snake. Uh, in the hospital, and I was like, "Wow, that sounds like Jack Bauer," and it was. Well, yeah, um, he's, was uh, I'm looking it up voice. right now. He is voicing only, uh, only Big Boss in Metal Gear Solid Five. There you go. And that is uh, Snake but, in the game. A lot of people. By, a lot way, of people but by the way, I mean, Byron, you could tell tell people in a, in a few minutes, but mind blowing stuff, right? Oh, he also did the voice much. of when Ishmael. When you guys get this game. All right, when you get the game, you're going to pop it in. And you know how every Metal Gear always has a lot of the cinematic stuff? Yeah. yeah. Long ass time. They kind of did that this time, but they actually brought you into it as well at the same time. So you'll be moving around during the cin- cinematic uh, moment. But I'm going to tell you, this. I, I think this is the only time I played a game that had about an hour or 20 minutes of just epic action, man. Just from the start to the 120 mark. I mean, it was just nonstop. You were going through so much stuff, intense moments. You're under the bed. Guys are getting killed left and right. It was crazy stuff, man. Crazy yeah. stuff. I think anybody who's thinking about getting it, don't think about it. Just go get it because you're going to really enjoy the first one. <laughs> I, no, I, I can't see anybody saying, I hated that game. Oh, wait, maybe Vince. I hate that game. No, nah, there'll be people, there'll be jackasses that'll say it. Yeah, but I think those are the real picky guys. Yeah, like, a, lot, a lot of the criticism. I people. mean, it got a masterpiece. I, I tell you this much: I saw this one guy on YouTube that that posted himself exactly the way I did the video, <laughs> and he was just sitting and he kept pointing. I don't know, I'm not doing nothing. Uh, like he was just complaining, and he was just a lot of people it. who uh, don't like Metal Gear Solid as well as the previous Metal Gear Solid games is based on the fact that they do have long cinematic. They do things, and 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 I think that from what I remember seeing, they they were going to knock that off. But you know, you know, you but you know what? Like because of Tomb Raider and because of Uncharted, I don't mind it as much as I used to. Mm-hmm. I actually yeah, like it because it, it it makes me get into the game. But there's a big difference, though. There's a big difference. That that's one thing I could definitely tell you with the Tomb Raider and Uncharted. It's cinematic, but you're in control the whole freaking time. Right. With Metal Gear, you're not in control the whole time. There's only part that they allow you. But like, you know that when you buy Metal Gear. But, but like I said, I don't know, man. I enjoyed the first hour and twenty minutes. I haven't played the rest of it because I think it was just too much for me to swallow. Huh. <laughs> don't take that. Did okay. you play the other ones? Yeah, but, seriously. But I'm gonna tell you, this, <laughs> Uncharted, man, it's gonna. It, it, if that was an indication of a, a freaking intense hour and twenty, I could imagine. And I showed you the video. Yeah. The Uncharted thing. Was- March, March. We have to wait. I don't know, man. I, I don't I, like that. I know. I don't like it. <laughs> Long way, but March. Speaking of things God. people don't like, Nazis. 
What? Uh, Speak so, for yourself, buddy. I, I'm fond of Nazis. <laughs> uh, that's on record, sir. Uh, it's a joke. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we're talking about a little bit of a Seth Rollins girlfriend mistress getting fired and Rollins getting the weekend off as well okay, as... May I ask, before we get into the Rollins and the Nazi, may I ask why she's called the mistress? Because she's the mistress. Okay, what does that mean? She's the one who caused the breakup. So she caused the breakup? Yes. Wow. Like, he left his is she girlfriend hot? for... Yes. I need to... I, I don't... I, is there, like, a good picture of her? There's, Imagine, what do you think of uh, Seth Rollins? There are no bad pictures like, of her, to be honest. She's that <laughs> hot. Well, you might not like it because you don't like the tattoos type no, thing I on don't. chicks. So you might not like it, but... Uh, no, 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 but, but, but forget about the tattoos. Is she hot? In my opinion, yes. In your opinion, maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen them. I, I want to see a good picture of her. I'm not going to judge on the tattoos. I'm just going to see if she's hot. Okay. I want to see if, if it was worth all this. I just put in the uh, Skype conversation that we have here so you can so see that. And uh, I'll also be putting in the Facebook her. thing. Okay. She's hot. She dances like a say chick. She looks a little bit like AJ. But I don't like I her don't eyebrows. see that. I hate girls that paint their eyebrows. I, I do not like... I don't like tattoos. I don't mind them if it's in certain places, but that I do not like. To, to do it on your chest, I, that's she just... going to be a diva? Yeah, she looks a little like AJ, no? Mm, I, not really. I don't see it. Mm. I, uh, just, I, will see. I just do not like the eyebrows. The eyebrows, really? That's the problem? Hell yeah, look at that. It looks like a marker freaking... What the hell would I care about <laughs> eyebrows? The same way you care about the tattoos. No, that's way more something to care about than eyebrows. But I was, tattoos aren't really that bad, though. They're not really that bad. I don't. I just don't like. I don't, like, I don't, like, I don't like. I don't like the. I don't like anything covering breasts. Her breast isn't being covered. It's a chest, like on the top of the breast. No, but it's. I don't. No. Like ass cheeks. Have you seen the girls with? Big yeah, ass? I. I do not like that either. So that back getting off the tattoos on ass cheeks story. Like uh, everybody's <laughs> now is doing the butterfly on the ass cheeks, so that it's like. But the, way, but the way some of them do it looks hot. Like I could definitely tell you that I like. Yeah. It. That's, Depending how okay. much. Okay. Yeah, but you're not into being down there, so. Now, if you oil it up and you shine it up and you spank it and all that, the butterflies with the wings will start moving and stuff. Uh, I don't think you should. What cover is this up the conversation goodies? going into? I just wanted to talk about. about na- we're talking about man stuff, Sean. I wanted to talk about stand Nazis. A, stand man. aside. Deal with it. Good. So she's yeah, all she, right. I mean, she's not. I don't know if she's worth ruining your marriage for. I don't know, but her breasts are nice. What is what? Is, what did his ex-wife look like? That's what I'm interested in. Yeah, post a picture of her ex. His ex-wife. I want to oh, see. I want to see what's doing there. He was married. That, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know. <laughs> she asked, she know. asked to have been married for her to be a mistress. Right. So she posted a photo of being a Nazi or having Nazi stuff on. Right? But, uh, she wasn't wearing Nazi stuff. She had Nazi memorabilia because she finds World War II very interesting, has a <laughs> lot of connection to it because I guess her father worked, uh, was a jet plane guy or something in World War II. Uh. So she was These are her excuses. Well, this I don't know if she can prove her family history. I never looked into that, but that's pretty much what's uh, going on with that entire situation. Was that she was fired for having Nazi stuff on her Instagram, and for what I understand, she wasn't pleased with it. She posted on uh, Instagram about the comments about it. Thought it was kind of over the top, but she understands WWE's doing their own thing. If you really. I do get to talk about you're her so, a wait, little wait, bit you're more. You're saying that she thought it was over the top that they fired her. Yeah, because they didn't really look into it. They just saw Nazis fired. That was it. They didn't actually see why they was there or why she looked into it or why anything about it. Mm. Oh, that's a, that's so, a good, that's a good so point. If Hogan had a monkey on his shelf in an interview, on, his, uh, on an interview and it was in his bedroom, what do you think they would say about that? A monkey? Like, what does that prove? Like, like a monkey. Like a monkey on his shelf. It's Michael like, Jackson had a monkey, an actual one. Right, but that's what I'm saying. WWE needs to chill out a little bit, take it easy, and find out that's, what that's true. reason you have these things on your shelf. That Don't is just true. say, oh my God, he's racist. He has a monkey on his shelf. Fire him. <laughs> that is true. I mean, what if, what if, 
she's telling the truth and she is into World War II stuff. It could have been, exactly. I mean, is Indiana Jones racist when they went, you know, into the Nazi thing in part three? And he bumped is into Hitler? Opened the freaking monkey's brains and ate it? I mean, come on. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't even know what the hell that means. But. I now have a picture of Seth Rollins, I guess you would say former wife, now up on the roundtable page. All right, so, let me see. I want to see this. All right. But um, if you guys haven't get a chance, this Friday, 9 I p.m., see. I get the chance to talk to Zicky Dice. He's actually was trained by Seth Rollins because Seth Rollins has a wrestling school. And we were able to talk a little bit about Rollins, a little bit about the situation, as well as uh, Zahara, who I guess is one of the nicest women you could ever see. So definitely check out that interview Friday, 9 p.m. on PW. I don't see the picture. It's on the, it's on the fan page. And I went to both of them. Yeah, Facebook. Doc, it's up now. I, I'm staring at it. Why don't you put it up on the uh, Skype? Oh, I, see I see her. You too? She looks a little bit like the vampire chick that was in the, the uh, ECW woman. <clears throat> Okay, going back to the game for one second, the soundtrack is up, and Billy Joel, really? <laughs> Billy Joel? He, he gave his consent to have his thing on, on a WWE soundtrack? Like, that's weird to me. Because he, he has to give his consent, I can tell you that. Hey, what, what song is, is going to be playing? Oh, uh, okay, just to answer the question about uh, Seth Rollins' ex-wife. Yeah, the mistress is way hotter. <laughs> I, I'd say they're both pretty attractive. Uh, no, the mistress is way hotter. I'm yeah, looking, but we don't know because that's a that's a bad picture. I mean, she, yeah, she, she doesn't that, exactly have a lot of the modeling pictures like Zahara does. She does but, mostly, you know, but, selfies. But in defense of that, you know, hotness doesn't equate to being great in bed. So, Oops. doesn't. Damn it. Anyways, looking at the soundtrack, I actually kind of like it. I don't see <laughs> Billy Joel though. You know. No, I see Billy Idol. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Billy Idol. Him, him too. Billy Idol, I like. I was I about to say, like, Billy Joel being on there is weird. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, you know, I agree. Uh, WWE should have investigated. I mean, how do we know that they didn't investigate just because she said they didn't investigate? Just about, but I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, they see N-words, they see murder, they see Nazis. Fire, fire, fire. Once again, stop comparing murder <laughs> to N words or anything else. But they, you can't. You have to when WWE does the exact and same that, reaction and that has been to common hope. knowledge for Superfly for. Since but they it react the exact same way to Superfly's arrest or charging. Oh. The exact same way they arrested, uh, reacted to Hogan saying the N word. The WWE Let, right now is just like out. doing Hold stuff on. and then asking questions later. Exactly. Can somebody find out if? Uh, Superfly was supposed to be in this this year's game. That's what I, I was going to ask you, actually. I doubt. It. I thought he was. I doubt no, he's going to be in the game. I he was going to be in the game. I don't I think know so. Hogan's out. I know that. How do you know? Because they announced WWE it. and Two K announced it, and he's not going to be in it. Yeah. Even though Hulk Hogan went to so on Twitter and said, "Oh, I'm going to be in it, brother." He's that's, not in. That's it. retarded, man. That is just absolutely. He was retarded. supposed to, but he took him out. That's stupid. So, By the uh, way, for people that are interested in, uh, in the NBA 2K game, you could get the NBA 2K game, but you could also get a special Michael Jordan edition. When but, is that game coming out? I believe sometime in October, uh, early October. They always release it early. Okay. So, yeah, you could get a Michael Jordan edition of the game. Um, so I just wanted to let people know. All right. With that said, we're going to take a short break here on 8bitx.com on PW247.net. You take a break. Hello, boys and girls. This is your super hardcore anime, Lufisto, and, of course, your site, Pit Peekaboo. And you're listening to Roundtable Wrestling Radio. Support a Canadian pro wrestler in Mike. WWE Superstar Big Show here to tell you if you've been <laughs> drinking, get a ride. Take a cab. Find another safe way to get home. Cops all across the country are cracking down on drunk driving. They will see you before you see them. Drive sober or get pulled over. Dude, no. Oh, we're back? <laughs> oh, we're back here live on... Oh, we're back, pal. We're round table wrestling. Yeah, dude, love. The dudester. A part of 2K16. Somebody that I never play with. 
<laughs> I played with him a lot in the uh, 2K14, was it? When oh, yeah? they had the attitude you like, games. You like playing with him? Dude, dude huh? Lil's awesome, man. I don't know. I, I never... I always use Cactus Jack or Mankind. I don't... I'm Is not that, a Dude Love guy. I just love the theme song probably more than anything when it comes to Dude Love. Just put it on your iPod and listen to it. I do. All right. All right. That takes care of that problem. <laughs> Speaking anyway, of... Anyway, pro- let's spe- talk about... Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was going to bring up Baron Corbin because that... Boo. Oh, you didn't want to talk about Baron Corbin? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Baron Corbin. But wasn't it clear though tonight that Randy's going to be the third guy or no? Well, it's just crazy that that's how everyone reacted. And so far, uh, according to the most updated card, it's a mystery partner. They have not announced who the uh, partner is going to be uh, yet. The wives jump Randy Orton tonight. I would assume Randy is a part of this now, but I could right. be wrong. But Baron, Col- Baron Corbin. Uh, rumored to be joining Ambrose and uh, and Reigns, and I I I don't think it's good for the reasons that everybody else is saying that you know he's not that good or whatever. I don't I just don't think it makes sense. I don't think he has that much of a name or that much interest to put them together or to put him involved in something ma- you know a major angle like that. So I hope it's not going to happen, and I don't think it will because it looks like like I said, Randy Orton looks like. Uh, will be a part of this but yeah i'm guessing uh they after the story got leaked by themselves that they ran away changed it corbin's gonna stay in nxt longer which all right whatever so even if you don't have corbin which you know a lot of people said samoa joe a lot of people said Finn baylor so there, there's plenty of choices better choices out there i don't think he's ready no he I isn't he he's a buzz he hasn't really had that match yet that says he's ready, and I don't know when he may have that match. Exactly. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a good idea right now. But WWE clearly sees something in this bastard. So yeah, I don't know. But Samoa Joe, I think, should come up. Uh, but I apologize. I, I, I apologize, according to Bret Hart. <laughs> you know what? No, man, come on. I feel bad for Daniel Kidd. The I do. I do feel bad. On his momentum going with Cesaro. But he again, was, it was he, an accident, though. Yeah, but I haven't heard Samoa Joe even publicly say sorry. Like he hasn't said, "Shoot." Why, but why should he though? Why not? I mean, if I were to paralyze somebody, not not well, he didn't paralyze, he did not right? paralyze him. Yeah, but that was he, 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 you know, he, and we don't know what Samoa Joe did privately. Now wait a second. Did, yeah, but still, like, did do you, you read, have to publicly always apologize? Really? Did you read how his 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 injury was life threatening? <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's, okay, so I I know it was, I was it feel, was serious, right? And I would feel like crap, and I I probably he probably did he probably apologize. Did. Him. I'm yeah, sure he yeah, did. I'm but he I just, think I think it would have been even yeah. better if he actually went up. So people understand, yes. Because a lot of people are looking at Samoa Joe right now as, oh, what an ass. I want to, you know, he hasn't, I haven't heard him say it. He might have said it behind closed door, but I haven't heard. You know, there's a lot of people out there that do that. Yeah. So I think he should have took to Just Twitter. doing it for the sake of making everybody else feel I bad. think he should have went to Twitter and put something up there. I'm, you know, I feel bad, you know, for what happened. That mistakes happen, but I do feel bad for what happened and all speed recovery for this guy, blah, blah, blah. You know, say something. That's true. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't hurt, but he hasn't said a word. Like he's been very quiet about it. You know, it. it could it could also be that they told him not to say a word. Mm-hmm. Perhaps. So perhaps, that so that I, they don't admit that you know something bad happened or whatever. I don't perhaps, know. but um, wasn't it Bruce Hart that was saying? Yeah, but really, like the, the, yeah. The, the entire thing with uh, Bruce yeah. Hart, um, I think uh, Laura said it. I said it. Jay said it. Technically, Tyson and Mike, the match heart, said it. And I think there was another heart out there that said it as well. Don't say, don't take anything Bruce saying is true. <laughs> yeah. Really? And also, yeah. TJK tweeted um, saying that he hadn't had a contact with Bruce mm-hmm. Hart in over a decade. And Mike's Mike, the match heart, even said himself that really he's on the way to recover, that he should be back eventually. No I, more I time frame. So because, you know, yeah. I'm telling you now, I was really getting into Tyson Kidd, man. Yeah, like I, I was really getting into his character. He was coming out. I, I was loving the Cesaro kid tag team. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like everything was, was was actually falling into place. Now, finally, for this guy, 
That's true. And then this, this shit happens. And it, it's such a bad time. A lot of guys have bad time up there. Man. Yeah. Just like Brian. He became the champion. His, his father died. Connor died. His dog died. Uh, he got <laughs> injured. Like, everything came at once once he became a champion. You know, it's just, it's just that bad luck, man. It sucks. It does. That's but, crazy. again, we don't, we don't know if Samoa Joe uh, did something, you know, in private. And if he did, I think I, I would be good with that. I don't need a public, uh, you know, I don't need it. But I agree. Maybe he should have wrote, you know, written something to ease people. Right. That's, you know? that's my point. We know how it is nowadays. Everything. That's true. Everybody wants to, since if everything's out there so much, people are expecting to see something. And if we didn't have the internet, we wouldn't even know. Exactly. Yeah. You know? If you don't know, now you know. Exactly. <laughs> you better recognize what Amanda <laughs> says. Because she said it. But let's talk about Monday Night Raw for a second. I gotta, I've gotta. i been dying to talk about this. Uh, you know how this whole Lana and... and uh, oh, my oh, God. That is... It's driving me nuts. That little... Yeah, what what was that little video that. that they played? Yeah. Like, it was Jerry Springer or something? Like, that. <laughs> that was that was just one of the worst things. And I'm being dead serious when I say it was one of the worst things I've ever seen in a wrestling Los show. Eres un camino. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it reminded me of. Like, what in the hell? Whose idea was that? Like, that ruined it. Whatever, whatever, even if it was already bad. But that just took it over the edge. I'm going to tell you one thing that really irritated me uh, was to hear Michael Cole saying that the world has stopped and have been paying attention to this thing. It's taken over everything, and everybody's paying attention to this one thing. I'm like, (laughs) what? Are you kidding me? Like, I, I, I was so annoyed with him tonight just by him saying that i was just oh. bothered the hell out of me and then the second thing that bugged me the hell out of the whole entire show now that I'm, i i even like the big show now <laughs> what it's Dolph ziggler coming out i hate him <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> this thing has made me hate the guy so much like it irritates me to watch it. that that video again uh and they played it twice by the way not once, yeah. but twice they had to play that shit. It's, 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 that was horrendous, man. It's, but I, I will say, though, as, as horrendous as that video was, I, I really am starting to like Rusev. Like, I'm talking about, like, just him talking. Like, it's funny to me. Like, just him saying, like, the, the lovely submissive summer. <laughs> and just the way he says that is <laughs> hilarious to me. And just like I forgive you and all this shit, like he he made it work. Like I thought he made it really good. Ziggler, on the other hand, comes out there and just kills it for me from the get go, man. Like, but but Rusev to me is making a bad situation better. Am I right though? Am I right? Like when you see Dolph now? Yeah. Oh God. Annoying now. Just- yeah, that's what I said about Lana. Like Lana is the focus now. Lana is everything. Mark Merrow <laughs> was a pretty cool freaking wrestler before Sable went out there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And now Ziggler, uh, you know, everything is Lana. We want Lana. Z- Nobody cares about Ziggler. This is not helping Ziggler. I don't understand why this is I, being I, done. I wish, he resigned with them, right? I yeah. don't know. That, I he never not. officially confirmed that. He did resign it. with it. He even confirmed it himself. Did he? I didn't yeah. see that. Oh, well, well, well I'm, I wish he didn't because I cannot stand the man anymore. I cannot stand. I, as much of a good wrestler he is, his character has gone so stale. Like I just and and by the way, it was just literally in two months. It was just a year ago where he had that amazing Survivor Series where we all thought like, oh, here here's the real push. For Ziggler, but this has absolutely destroyed him. Is this why he resigned? I don't know, man. He resigned, I guess, because uh, they were going to give him less dates in the year, as well as the fact that he was able to do um, his comedy tours and be able to focus on projects outside of wrestling. They're giving him that kind of freedom. (laughs) Comedy tours? He's a comedian on the side. (laughs) Oh, my God. I don't even want to know what that looks like. I have to see this. <laughs> Holy oh crap, God. man! And they're and they're catering to this. Yeah, bro. What is he, Sting? 
Wait, so what's with the movies that keep coming out by the WWE? They're bad. Like now, <laughs> Dean Ambrose, 12 rounds. Isn't it 12 rounds three or something? Yeah, it's the third 12 Wait, rounds movie. But the I, we I, had unanswered questions from 12 rounds one and two. <laughs> Uh, from what I'm hearing, though, is that this movie's getting better reviews than the first oh, two. Oh, God. So that, that does not say anything, Sean. <laughs> it says that Dean Ambrose knows what well, he's doing. Mean, no, I, <laughs> that I, does I, not I, say I, that I, at all. For one thing for sure, Dean Ambrose can't act. I've seen, I mean, yeah. you saw him doing that commercial that thing is, with the Terminator. Yeah. You could see like, I love the scene. They did one shot of it where this guy's revving up his engine against Ambrose to try and do a um, street race against him. And Ambrose just looked at him like in this horribly great gaze he does at people when he's not impressed. Shows him the badge. And it's just like, it's so... It, I'm actually almost interested in seeing this movie. If I see more <laughs> stuff like that, <laughs> I'm in. That is the worst review for a movie I've I've ever heard seen... in my life. I'm almost interested in watching this. So what do you give it? A, a one apple, two apples? Out of seeing one clip of the movie. I'm almost interested in watching it. That's what he gives it. After seeing one clip in the I'm movie. I'm very I'm close to pressing play. <laughs> I bought the DVD the Blu-ray, but I'm almost close. I'm almost going to put it in. I'm almost going to stick it in. The player and actually play it. <laughs> you want me to play a trailer real quick of it? Uh, he, does he have uh, dialogue in it? Yeah. Uh, is there dialogue? Go ahead. Do it. Uh, well, then I'll do it. <laughs> Why not? Let's, is let's... it going to help you push the button? <laughs> <laughs> it's rated R, by the way, for nudity. Oh, Ooh. shit. Uh oh. Ambrose, yeah. his dick's up. <laughs> George Fremont. All right, I'm in. Why? <laughs> we have an arrangement. Yes, we did. The hell with that act. Hey, Shaw, hold up. It's good having you back. You used to be Burke's partner, right? Yeah, a long time ago. What is that? It looks like a real credit card. Flash drive. Round of the boys and meet me at the precinct. What's up? Evidence concerning George Fremont. out here with that card it's over for us man the exits make sure shot doesn't leave put the building in the lockdown and that's pretty much a bunch of action yeah scenes. when they said put the building on lockdown i was like i gotta see this shit yeah. <laughs> i was gonna almost tell you to keep playing yeah almost <laughs> Yeah, I'll be I'll be actually able to live without ever seeing that. <laughs> oh, is it really the hard? hell the hell with that TV but master? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll you know what I'll give Ambrose uh, a try because he's never done anything like this. So you I, I think not, I would do you are not gonna see. I'm it. not buying it <laughs> for sure. I'm you are not buy seeing it. it. You are I'm not definitely gonna watch, see it. I'll probably watch parts of it. Like you know, I'll oh god, it. just give it a watch chance. Parts of movies. Uh, give me a chance. Hey, I'll give it a chance. Yeah, I'm definitely I'll gonna give it a chance. I watch parts of porno. That's that's porno. <laughs> oh my gosh! I once had to create an account just to comment on something so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Don't worry, that's why. Alone. That's why you created the account. That, that I mean, that's why I do it. <laughs> Don't worry. Because yeah. I, I wanted to create a comment. That's that's what it was. That's why I joined Bang Bros. <laughs> I haven't joined any of them. I just take video. Yeah, uh, it's called uh, There's Plenty of Free Porn. You're looking at that door, wondering if that's your escape route. It's one of two options I'm considering. And the other option? Putting a bullet in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you just want to turn in your gun and badge right now. Uh, well, that's just not much of an option now, is it? And music tight. Oh. Best thing that's got going for it. <laughs> it's supposed to be suspense focus. I know you guys can't see, you're only hearing it. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep that in mind. Uh oh, there goes the small round. Who's making the speaking of porn? To really explain, he shot a taser at a dead body, and the dead body then starts shooting the gun it was holding on to. 
Yeah, Mad Max has a lot to worry about with this movie. <laughs> yeah, Mad Max was dreadful. <laughs> Moving on. What? Uh, oh, I, what, what? 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 The character. There was no character development. There oh was. Oh my god. I hated it. There was. I don't even think there was any lines. It was well, just that, a lot of grunting. That really says a lot. That's all you need to know. <laughs> I hated that movie. There was no character development. There was very any dialogue. I felt like no one grew. Period. Wow. There you have it. There you have it. But you're going to give 12 rounds a chance. <laughs> I gave Mad Max a chance. So I'm going to give Dean Wait Ambrose a, a chance. Hey, guys. I don't know how true this is, but uh, during one of Seth Rollins' entrance, was there a fan that jumped the rail? Yeah, that's what Amanda told me. I, I'm looking yeah. At, <laughs> said, what did you say, Amanda? Fan, watch a fan jump the rail. When he was um, coming down, walking down towards the ring, um, the, a man comes out from the side and starts walking down the aisle with him. And then when he gets a shot of the ring, you can see him on the corner being held on the corner um, by some uh, by the, uh, the referee, and then some officials end up wow. going over there. I totally missed that. Oh, you gotta see how Seth Rollins is looking at this guy. I gotta see this. <laughs> like I'm gonna post it up on the on the group page. Put now, it, yeah, post it. Post it. Post it. A day. All right, I'll post it. It's up there. Now. A day. But it looks so funny. He's just looking at him like, what the heck is <laughs> this guy doing next to me? That is hilarious, though. I do like I'm looking at it myself. You sure uh, it wasn't Brock Lesnar, dude? <laughs> oh, and the video's up. If you click the link, it will actually show you the video. I'm going to watch the video now. <laughs> no, he's got like a silly dreadlocks or something. But there, there's a story I wanted to talk about. And yes. It was from last week as well that it broke, but I definitely want to talk about but there has been um, some negotiations, for I understand, about not only Jush and Liger doing more uh, episodes with WWE, whether it's oh, main yeah. roster, NXT, or whatever, but New Japan Pro Wrestling cutting a deal with WWE to having sort of a talent exchange between the two companies. Oh. Which you know what that means. No, I don't. AJ <laughs> Styles. Doesn't necessarily mean that, but... It sounds better if New Japan has a deal with WWE and... AJ is possibly going to be your world champion at New Japan. I wouldn't. I I, I wouldn't get that excited because um, I think the only one that really did cool things with working with Japan and stuff was WCW. WCW really never get, this... got the credit enough for what they did with uh, Japan. Uh, and every time they had a Jushin Liger, a Great Muda, uh, whoever, they treated them with respect. But we I don't definitely... think WWE will. Well, we're definitely seeing a different era. I mean, we saw Jewish and Liger get the respect. We're seeing Finn Balor. We didn't hear, we didn't hear not two words about it. <laughs> but you just look at his entrance. We were saying that, like they weren't going to give him the cape or his music, but they did. If we get Okada in NXT. He didn't have NXT, his music. Yeah, it is. Not, not, his, not his music. It wasn't, not his Jewish and Thunder Liger music. It wasn't the full music, no, but it was his music. I don't know. Like I, I, We didn't hear anything about it. I was a little disappointed with it. I think it was a packed weekend, but not only just what it means, if WWE New Japan strikes a deal, plus the fact NXT signed uh, both Ciampa, which I'm guessing I'm going to say that name wrong again, and yep. Gargano, <laughs> that WWE... I don't know what the names are, but yeah, I know you said it wrong. <laughs> the, the two guys in NXT that just got uh, doing the Dusty Rhodes tournament. The big guy. And... I really think it's interesting that they just signed two guys who were kind of big part for Global Force Wrestling, for what we understood. Mm -hmm. New Japan being this possible deal with WWE, which also had to deal with Global Force and Ring of Honor. Mm -hmm. I'm really curious what this is going to mean to both Ring of Honor and Global Force with WWE kind of picking up a lot of great talents right now. Uh, uh, I, I tell you what it's going to mean for them. Nothing. <laughs> well, it means a lot because... Uh, from what I understand, uh, talking to Harry a lot, they've got a lot of pre-recorded episodes featuring uh, Ciampa, Gargano, or... Okay, uh, who's Harry? <laughs> Harry Bob. You know, I didn't want to say it, but all right. I'm just saying, like, I don't know who that is. I didn't. I, I was going to say it too, but I didn't want to say it. The who boobs. <laughs> me and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you said me and Laura or me and Todd, I would understand, but... <laughs> me and Harry have been watching this all day. <laughs> <laughs> but, I listen, I, I, first of all, the, the whole global force, I think that the, when you start a promotion by associating yourself with TNA, <laughs> I, 
That yeah, is that's... not a good start yeah. for you. You yeah. know what I mean? I they should have been... never been associated with TNA. Yeah. I know why they did it. I understand why Jarrett went back, and I get that. But, man, oh, what, that is not a Jared? good sign. Why did Jerry go back? Because, because of the way he left. He wanted to go out. You know, that was his baby. I understand that from his perspective. You know, he wanted to have a shocking appearance. He wanted to, you know, um, do it in a better way than he left. So I understand it from that perspective. But that should have been the end of it. That should have been absolutely the end of it. Well, there's been some talks about possibly after TNA leaving that Global Force may take the time slot. And that's my point. All people are gonna see. All all people are gonna understand about that is that oh, that used to be TNA, and now it's Global Force. Especially because they've been mixed up over the last couple of weeks. That's not a good start. You should have completely had no association whatsoever with TNA. So, so let me ask you guys something. So, man, I hate to, to have even, a fresh start. You know, I hate to even say, uh, even mention tna at this point because mm. I, I i feel stupid not knowing what the hell is going on with tna i don't know anything i don't know i don't know anything uh pretty much the big thing you should know is that jeff hardy is now ec3 servant <sighs> <laughs> so why did i have to ask <laughs> ec3 is the best thing going on in that company but he's not being uh, in good moments in my opinion that's that's horrible and what, ha- and what happened with EC3 and you? Oh, about him blocking me? Yeah, why did he block you? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to know about I'm being serious. I don't uh, understand what's going on. If you guys haven't, check out his uh, fireside chat. It's like a weekly web series he's doing for TNA, about a minute long. And this week he was talking about Justin Timberlake and how Justin Timberlake is such a great talent, best singer. If Justin Timberlake was in Rocky, it would be a better movie. And it, obviously amazingly healed people hate him for this stuff that's why people he was being serious no i don't think he was being serious or being character i'm not sure i can't tell with him half the time but right. honestly he's he was just going on about all this so i decided to get on the twitter and say to him you know justin timberlake's great but nowhere near as good as the backstreet boys so he blocked me what <laughs> okay that's just <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. He didn't actually block me. It was kind of as a joke, but it, it was just funny that he just kind of told everyone that he blocked me because of that. So. You know, and, and uh, being in all seriousness, well, he, uh, did Justin he didn't Timberlake, actually block me. No, Justin Timberlake is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I'm being dead serious. Like sure. I've seen, I've seen him in movies, and he's a great actor. He's a funny dude, and he actually, you know, rocks it on the mic. Oh shit! I'm watching the video. Of the fan that just <laughs> and so, Seth Rollins just looks at him like, <laughs> he's like, "What the hell?" <laughs> no, that's actually a good. If, idea. That, if that was like, if that was um Sabu, that guy would have just been gotten it. <laughs> but you saw how Cena actually was like, hey, hey, look, look, look. like he was ready to go out there with the with the part time players, and they're like, "Now we win, jump." <laughs> That's yeah. right. By the way, that was mind blowing in the main event that you had the prime time players. And John Cena together because you had Black Cena and White Cena. Um, we didn't even talk about this, but John Cena got. Wait, in. wait, wait! I said there was a Black Cena. Yeah, well, it shows you that. How and much. there was a White Cena. <laughs> yeah, we, there we was still a gay care. Cena, and then there was John Cena, who is also gay. <laughs> okay. But uh, during the weekend on uh, the house show, uh, Cena fought Kevin Owens, and he got re-injured. He didn't get injured. He did get injured, but it was not as serious as everyone thought it was going to be. But he looked bad. I, from what I saw... Okay, but did you see that he was wrestling tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is it could have been bad because the guy landed on his neck and, and, and Kevin Owens' ass <laughs> like, <laughs> right on By him. the way, the best part about that, about the, the thing that happened in the weekend was Kevin Owens yeah. <laughs> continuing on it on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, oh, yeah. He said that. What was he saying, Sean? Do you know? Uh, he was saying uh, pretty much about how you know faith really hurts you. Sometimes you just have to respond. I'll get John the- Cena said that faith, you know, things happen or whatever, and Kevin was like, no, I happen. <laughs> but I love that like a lot of the Cena fans were like calling him out. And it's like, uh, you know, you just suck, man. You sh- should have been that like that to Cena. And uh, some of the comments was, uh, this one was to Ghost Rider 0204 that was calling out Owens. He said, nice to take a break from sending creepy tweets to women instead of talking to a f- me. You're a 50-year-old man. Stop it. 
<laughs> so, or, 50, uh, so 50 year old men can't talk to women well he, i guess this guy like talks to teenage girls on twitter or something hey if uh, they're 18 they're good to go <laughs> that's all i'm saying legally actually 17 here in new york is it 17 here yeah I moving on no 17 okay so now you gave me a goal yep and there, yeah. by the way, anybody listening from New York, a uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being dead serious, by the way. I'm not joking around about that. That's the legal age for consent. Did they change it? Because I know it was. No, like, it's been that way for, wow, like maybe over a decade. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. You know well, how I know? I, I checked just... because of Law and Order SVU. Some of the other, and I, and I checked it. I, I, I'm being serious. Like they had a whole case about it, and I checked it, and it's accurate. Okay. I so, and that was that was an episode that took place in 2002. So that's been that's been the case. Of- you can bang 70 year olds. <laughs> New York. <laughs> that was not going to be the news. I was going to oh, say. Oh, that's not the breaking news. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would that be the breaking news? That is breaking news, yeah, dude. News to me, so. Trust me, there's a lot of people that are waiting for that news. <laughs> there's people in the process right now. <laughs> are you gonna wait for the, that girl to get out of school and pick her up? Okay, I wouldn't go that far, Amanda. But help her with her homework. I hope. You can do that. Okay, Amanda, you're just turning me on. <laughs> Good. You're, you're coming up with a great scenario right now. <laughs> Man, uh, 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 by the way, it's kind, of, uh, it's kind of amazing that Amanda has that scenario already. So you're going to pick her up from work. You're going to help her with her homework. <laughs> it's almost like... Are you going to be sugar daddy? Sure. But, Sean, what was the breaking news? Uh, the actual news I was going to say is that I've actually been watching the WWE Network. You've been watching? Uh-huh. You interrupted our seven- <laughs> <laughs> conversation. No, this is breaking news. Did you order it, or did you just watch it from a friend's house? Uh, my roommate has the network, and I've been watching it really a lot, really enjoying watching like World War Three again, more games again. Okay. okay. And... I'm surprised that yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, they put up on all the nitros, by the way. Yeah, I haven't checked out Did the nitros. I've been seeing the pay per view. Podcast tonight? No, because no. we're doing a show. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it right now, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> this is live. We're well, you of... could be like watching it on the side. I don't know what you're doing. No, it would be hard <laughs> for me to see a light in the background. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I saw a little bit of it, uh, and it was actually pretty uh, entertaining. No, but wait a minute, wait a minute. I'd rather hear from Edge and Christian than Paige, I'll tell you that much. So, sure, so, sure. You're going to order this? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that would be breaking news. You That's... ordering it, not you watching it. <laughs> well, I'm saying, uh, I'm thinking after my roommate and I, like, don't live together, I may end up ordering the network, yes. Oh, Do you, all right. do you still watch the Netflix? I... Actually, I haven't watched it because I haven't hooked up my PS3 again. Once I do, I'll probably start watching Netflix again. Hmm. I have a question. Yes. yes. What's with the WWE and New Japan yes. Pro Wrestling? This is happening right now, Amanda. Because <laughs> I was reading, um, yeah, we all just... I could find was basically like a talent exchange that uh, yeah. New Japan just, mentioned. Just, when you took yeah. um, <laughs> when you took your little break, we were talking about that. Yeah, there's oh, a no way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will so explain it to have, you real quick. They're gonna have an exchange of uh, of talents and uh, and, and man. Meet. Yeah, so we might see. Uh, since it's just the New Japan talents, I imagine guys like Ring of Honor, AJ Styles might have a problem because of that. Who yeah. knows? But we might end up seeing like Okada or the Bullet Club's Anderson and Gallows or example of someone that's going to make you scream, Kenny Omega being on a WWE television. Also, oh, uh, oh, and by the way, Amanda, <laughs> you also posted something that WWE made a big deal of uh, in all seriousness. And that's, um, is it Johnny Garano or Gajano? Gargano. Yes. They made their NXT debut and uh, they posted Fair it enough. all week. It was a pretty big deal. So you're pretty happy about that, right? Yes. 
Okay, I, I guess I wanna, unless we're talking about seventeen-year-old they, they before we, before they we haven't made their debut about, yet. They're debuting this Wednesday night. They oh. just were on the TV. They're facing Tyler Breeze yeah, and Willie Dempsey. Yeah, Willie announced um, their appearance. Right. And the fact that they're going to be Johnny Gargano and uh, somebody fix me if I'm wrong, Tommaso Ciampa, uh, <laughs> in their match, not just like Johnny That's, B and T- right. Tommy or something. Then, um, before we continue on that stuff. Let me ask you guys a question because um, no. it keeps happening a lot. Um, Your mom. My mom. <laughs> uh, it, you know, the, we know about the whole uh, Dean Ambrose almost getting stabbed. Yeah. 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 Did we ever talk about that? We did talk about it a little bit last week, but uh, Dean Ambrose being stabbed. Uh, yeah, that's messed up. Uh, he didn't suit- get stabbed. <laughs> attempted <laughs> stabbing yeah, if he had been stabbed yeah we'd be talking about it a lot <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm thinking of, of because it's been happening a lot if you think about yeah, it a lot yeah. of people are jumping That's the rails now and it happened tonight also yep. I'm thinking WWE needs to really start having securities uh, uh, walking these but guys out of the because the venue that they so go to they use their own staff but listen, right. That's yeah. not Amanda's staff right here. Seth Rollins is out there by himself and no security. But they he always out there by themselves. He could have easily, if, if there was, a, let's just say the guy was crazy, he could have easily got slashed up, you know, stabbed. Or whatever. I, but obviously, luckily for Seth He's, Rollins, he was I'm just saying. trying to be stupid. I, I think the fan wanted to, <laughs> yeah, he be just out wanted there, to just walk, yeah, walk down the road, yeah, yeah, walking down the aisle with Seth, or whatever. But luckily, I think but you're right. To, so to now Seth everybody's going to have to be Goldberg. <laughs> well, I think they need to start stepping that up because, you know, it's this is not the first this time. This is going to ruin it for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. How, how many times did this happen in the month? So we, we've lot. had three situations that we know of. Uh, well, one wasn't really necessarily him jumping it. It was him throwing something at Roman's head. That, there's things that are, that, but that connected, though. Yeah. And so, so there's a lot of things that are yeah. happening. I think they need to start. It's because the WWE is driving its fans insane. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And a lot of these guys didn't know that it was legal to bang a seventeen-year-old. Now they do. Now they know. So they, maybe, maybe they'll calm down. Do you want me to make it worse for you, Joey? Because we've had this conversation before on this show. About what? About banging seventeen-year-olds. When? Uh, this was, I think, maybe the first six months I was on the air. You said about banging seventeen-year-olds in uh, New York, and I said, "Well, in Michigan, it's 16. Really. And in hope. Wow. Yes. That's, I can get, that's a little much. I, oh, it gets worse in Hawaii. <laughs> oh first of all, first of all, wait a minute. Why, why are you checking an individual? <laughs> <laughs> it was a human sexuality class. He's trying to help the people. Yeah, that's the reason. Wait, and wait, uh, just, Hawaii. I might, I might be in Hawaii, so. <laughs> Hawaii is the age of 14. Oh, my God. God. Gross. Wow, that's, mm-hmm. that's too much. Yeah. Ooh. We talk about, you know, other stuff. <laughs> and other stuff. Yeah, even Amanda was like, that's way over the line. Yeah, and other thing. stuff, the Bellas and Johnny Ace are becoming a family. Oh. Uh, who cares? What? I, I, a lot you of know people, what? A lot you of know, that's care. bullshit. Stupid Nikki what? Bella. She is doing nothing to defend her title. And it's happening. And it's freaking <laughs> that stupid clock. Yes. Ugh, I don't even know what to say. It's what, so what, frustrating. But, but it's we good. found out tonight that Charlotte's going to fight her next week and could potentially stop the clock. Hey, I don't think you think Charlotte, the WWE's going to do that. I don't, Charlotte did a I good job so. tonight. But, I think she did it the right way where she came out, said what she had to say, and that's it. Exactly. She did it quick. Exactly. Not that whole, ah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, for women's time. And blah, blah. Okay, she, the, does, she doesn't talk like that at all, but dude, but that's what they were doing, regardless with all of them. They were doing but, that. But but yeah, we. I, I just I'm I'm with Amanda on this. I don't like this mm-hmm. idea at all that Nikki's gonna be the one. I, I just don't yeah. like. They that. have no choice, dude. They, they have, have a plenty have of choices. They have no choice because plenty. All, we did have the SmackDown. Of, they have SmackDown. They have NXT. They have house shows. Wait, what, what are you talking about, David? Mm-hmm. Are you talking about her? Uh, taking the the breaking this girl's record. Yes. Yeah, right no, now. Think, listen, let me tell you something. If it was my company, I think, and I think Cena did the right thing. I think it, it because if he went back there and he spoke to them, I think he did it because of the fact that 
this chick actually walked out of him because of punk. Okay, that but, I agree with. But, and I think, I think but John should, Cena should not be going to speak to right, the body on behalf of his girlfriend. And, I, I, not I, I, and, and that's 100%. That should be their company. That should be their decision. You're mm -hmm. right. But Cena at this point, he can say things and they will listen to him. But, but I think it's the right call because. It's the right call, call, but it's not the right person. Even if it yeah, was, no it. even if, if it was the right out, call, as far as I think Manda might agree with me on this one, I'm not sure because you, I'm glad you're passionate about this finally. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute, she was passionate about the 17 year old homework, <laughs> but that's no, the fact that, uh, are you going to also help her with her homework since she's that young? Most likely, she'll still be in high school. There's Before, some 17 year olds that are not in high school. Yeah, they're dropouts. Say, dropped out because they got pregnant by its own real. <laughs> exactly. It's but uh, when it comes to Nikki Bella, when it comes to Nikki Bella, I'm talking about her stats right now. She hasn't had a singles match on SmackDown for four months. It doesn't she, why, why, why are you only including SmackDown? Well, I'm, I'm not even done. He's, you stopped me there. She hasn't had a singles match on SmackDown in four months. She hasn't had a title defense on a pay-per-view in nearly three months. And her last televised title defense was against Paige and Tamina. If Nikki actually defended her title, it probably wouldn't be as annoying of her possibly breaking the record. That's true. This is why it doesn't matter. Okay? Because it's the same reason why they gave Randy Orton the belt. Because they want to get it over with quick. You understand what I'm saying? They're not going to freaking wait another... 300 and something days to give another yeah, does it like the fabulous mula have the longest title yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. women's title yeah they want to get rid of her being the longest reigning champion just like punk was oh i'm sure they want to get rid of it but since they have it on this girl and she's almost close to it might as well just get it over with and do it that's true i think charlotte's gonna win the title next week if she does i, 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 don't, I don't know about that what if they take Every title is supposed think, to be. I think, I, I think they want everybody to think that. I the titles. Every and title is supposed to be. Off. Every title is supposed to be on the line at Night of Champions. What's the point of really giving you the title match on Raw before Night of Champions? Because I mean, they want you to think that that's exactly what's going to happen, and then, then piss you off. That's what. It, then what's the what match going to be for? at Night of Champions if you're giving us that match? That doesn't matter though. It kind of matters. Point, the point of this Raw match is to make everybody think. Oh, now there's a chance that you know she won't break the record. But like Byron said, I think they're hell bent on her breaking the record. I mean, she's already the champion. Might as well get it over. Yeah, they're they're hell bent on having AJ Lee be erased from that top spot, just like they were when Brock left the company and Randy Orton took the top spot. Okay. Exact same they reason. Get that out of the way, man. Out of the way, yep. And it makes no sense for Charlotte to win that title right before she's about to break the record. I, I just, I don't know. That's a tricky one. I would love for it to happen, for sure. But, I don't know, I, you know, they have so much sway right now. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Bree's banging Daniel, uh, Nikki's banging John Cena, and their mom's banging Johnny Ace. I wonder, because of Daniel's neck problems, though, does he do <laughs> a lot of banging? Shut up, Joey. I'm being serious. I know you're being serious. That's a good question. I mean, does the neck injury affect the banging? Let's ask Buff Bagwell. It hasn't stopped him. That's because he's, he's buff and he's the stuff. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Actually, you know, going back to the game for one second, uh, you know, this is one of the ideas that I had, and I think they should have done it, and that is the WWE. Uh, they should have had Raw versus Nitro. They should have had a bunch of guys from WCW. They have the roster capabilities to do that. Why not have Raw versus Nitro? You could create a whole Raw versus Nitro thing. You could have had Buff Bagwell's, Lex Luger's, you know, yeah, all those guys. I mean, if they, if they had the characters, you could do anything else. Yeah, but they don't have enough WCW guys. I don't, but the thing is, all right, how many characters are already named? That's what I want. Like uh, how many were, wait, how many were announced today, Sean? Uh, I think it was another 27 announced today. Okay, so that wait, is a, that's over 100 already. Well, wait a second, but for sure, can you like, how many so far and by the way, by the way, this I is can in a sec. Give me. This is something that we have not talked about at all, and that is that um, Schwarzenegger is going to have Terminator from one yeah. and two. Yeah. Yep. So that's that's kind of cool. Yeah. 
I wish they had the the his uh, enemy his wife. My that friend. oh, that's thank you for reminding me. That's exactly what I was gonna say. They yeah, had the T one thousand. There you go. Yeah, that would have been cool. That would have been cool. Yeah, would have had a match with them two guys. And you could have put um, can't remember um Sarah Connor in the Divas division. <laughs> Because she would, she would kick every one of their asses. I feel like they'd have to get a hold of Sigourney Reaver for that one, though. Yo, did you see hey. um, the the guy who was behind the whole 2K thing? Did you see how he created Ronda, R- Ronda Rousey? I did oh. see that video, yes. Is she in the game? No. She's not, but it, it's it's pretty damn accurate, man. I, the way by the way, because, because we are seeing Schwarzenegger as Terminator in the game, is there any chance we could see Rambo? No. I, <laughs> I'm being serious. Like I know you're being serious. Stallone and Schwarzenegger are very competitive. <laughs> but still, but from what I understand, Stallone's not a big wrestling fan, is he? Yes, he is. Then why isn't myself? he ever on TV? Uh, he he's the one that hired Hogan because of the yeah. wrestling. He's been into wrestling, and he also did he duck uh, either Hogan or yeah. yeah. Ducked, he's you know, definitely a wrestling fan. He has a lot of respect it. for it. <laughs> Over the top really... was basically his wrestling movie. Yeah. He's never really been like in a, tel- uh, like on TV though, so I have no idea. No, no, but he's a wrestling fan. He's he said it many times. He respects uh, the you know the wrestlers and all that. So I could totally see Rambo uh, in 2K, and I would personally I would like to play with Rambo more than I would the Terminator. As long as he has his weapon. I think Terminator <laughs> and and Rambo and those kind of guys would be cool in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I'm surprised. Like we're getting a. Uh, Jason Voorhees and Predator yeah. in Mortal Kombat. Exactly. Like that that would be the world or or some other not Mortal Kombat, but a game specifically for 80s icons. You know, like you could have Jean-Claude Van Damme, you could have Rambo, you could have Terminator, The Last Dragon. I like how it's Jean-Claude Van Damme. Not a character he plays, just Jean-Claude. Oh, yeah, just Jean-Claude <laughs> Van Damme, straight up. You have Wesley Snipes. I mean, basically, make an Expendables game where it's just a fighting game. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did we say? Did we talk about how Vader looks in the game? Yeah, he looks awesome. He looks good too, man. Yeah. I wonder if they're gonna have that, uh, it's beta that ability time. where you can poke his eye out. I don't think they will. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not th- planning on that happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, they have a lot of attitude error arenas too. Yeah, looks good. Man. I'm actually am looking forward to playing this for more than I could long. Ah, 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 ah. I saw it, man. I saw the gameplay. It's really let's talk about, so let's far. Start. So we far, were... there has been a hundred and two wrestlers confirmed from the game. Wow, crazy. that's what I just said. But um, <laughs> you said so, one hundred and two. So we need a few more. That's pretty much it's... probably by next week they're gonna cut it. Probably. So next week we might find I out. I want what I want to see is I want to see videos or a picture of what Terminator looks like. What? What? Hold on for a second. The the, the download. You want to see what Terminator looks like? The downloadable characters have, are not even going to be announced, so that doesn't even include them. That's true. Yeah. Actually, who do you think? Let's let's be realistically. Let's be look at it realistically. Who do you think is going to be downloadable? I, I say, uh, my first my first one that I'm gonna say that should be a, a downloadable character is this new white guy. <laughs> yes, he probably will be, but eventually later. That'd be cool if, if they, they do like a. I like I like that dude. Yeah, if they do like a uh, NXT type thing, I could see them putting like Samoa Joe and Rhino as. Yeah, a, that's true. I'd be I happy with said, those. Dudley boys. I think they said Samoa Joe is in it. Though. Dudley he boys? hasn't been confirmed yet, though. I heard he was. Though. Dudley Boys? We heard you say Dudley Boys, sure, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I want to talk about, real quick, because we're running out of time, uh, a couple of things from Raw. Um, New Day, Dudley Boys, and Edgy Christian, that segment was was gold, man. That, that shit was awesome. It, it reminded me of that time period with Austin and Kurt, Edge and Christian, where they used to do really funny stuff in the back. Um, that was so good, man. So good tonight. I, I loved it. Also, I want to make mention that I saw this on a commercial uh, because I'm in the area, but Brock Lesnar is now fighting the big show at Madison Square Garden. Mm-hmm. So he will be wrestling at Madison Square Garden and fighting the big show. Well, we knew he was going to be wrestling, but last we heard he was facing Bo Dallas. Right. No. He's oh, right. He's, he's facing the big show. He's fighting the big show. I wish it was Bo Dallas. No, I'm, right. I'm good with the big show. Because oh, we've wait, seen the big show happen before. It sucks. 
I, but uh, you know, to see it live, I'm I'm really really thinking about going. I'm I'm very it's conflicted. It's a big deal. Yeah, I'm, it's well, it's going to be out on the network. I'm very conflicted because I want to go there, but I also want to go to the Back to the Future 30th anniversary at Radio City Music Hall. So I don't know. Have you been going to America's Got Talent? Because uh, I don't even know what's going on there. Yeah. How is it? It's been all right? Hell yeah. I have kind of uh, haven't been watching it because of certain reasons, but I have to start getting into that again. It was awesome, man. The last year. How many more shows are left? This is the last year. Last How year many shows there? are left, though? Uh, this is the last two weeks, but it's the last oh. year for Radio City. No way. You serious? They said it? Yeah. Oh, man. So I got to make my way out there then. If you can, tickets are hard as hell to get. But, yeah, you should, man. It's going to be the last time. Last two weeks, right? Last two weeks. Wow. So anyway, also from Raw, um, I wrote that down. Uh, I also wrote, um, talked about Charlotte. Sixteen-year-olds? <laughs> no, I. Amanda said she had breaking news. Oh, cool. What'd Amanda, what's the breaking news? Get it, girl. Go get it, girl. All right, good news. Good talk, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda, where though? I'm not talking, and I'm on mute again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's Do you know the break- rock? What's your breaking news, girl? The Rock saved a puppy from Johnny. That is all. <laughs> okay, now play the music, sorry. <laughs> okay. Balls. <laughs> More stories at 11 o'clock. Yes. Uh, tomorrow or next Monday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's Monday. I don't know. I don't watch the news. I just read it. Oh, <laughs> She told yo ass. Um, also, I liked how Cena thought it was kind of corny that I like. I like how Cena thought it was corny, kind of corny to do the millions of dollars dance. I just thought that was I, iron- I thought it was ironic that Cena didn't want to do something corny. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. And Sting uh, was funny as hell tonight. He was. I enjoyed his uh, little segments. His his um facial expressions with the paint is just hilarious. <laughs> but he was really good tonight, man. I he's kind of rem- it's honestly, something he's that I haven't seen. Me. Sting, it, it, the way he was being tonight is something I haven't seen him in a long time. The yeah. way he was acting, what? And it, it's I haven't seen him do that kind of stuff. In a he while. did that in TNA. By the but way, I'm talking about how long has it been? <laughs> listen, <laughs> so by by the way, listen, listen to this bitch, uh, Lana. <laughs> Lana posts up a picture of her with her arm in a sling. She says, I have dedicated my entire life to becoming the best sports entertainer I could be. Ever since I debuted in the WWE, I've continued to go to WWE, um, NXT, come, come in early, come hours before the talent, um, you know, yada, yada, yada. I wanted my first match to make the WWE Universe feel proud. My wrist is fractured. From here forward, I will share every part of my journey to my first match. Thank you to every fan that has cheered for me and chanted my name. You give me the strength to be brave. I will you're, continue you're sick. to give everything and become one of the greatest women in WWE entertainment history. Well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I like how we have to now... Follow this chick because she broke her fractured, wrist. <laughs> fractured her wrist. Give me a fuck. Give me a break. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. Wow. Like, really making a big deal of a fractured wrist and this like, and your Tyson journey. Tyson Kidd and nearly this. got killed. We're not getting that from him. The hell. Clearly, um, somebody that doesn't understand anything. Yeah. I, I don't really care about Ziggler or Lana or the whole freaking thing. I give shoots about it. I really, I, I'm sure I'm, I'm not the only person that feels like about these people anymore. Like, it's just, it's just to hear them, it's just annoying, man. Yeah. I take it that you didn't see the video that they played tonight. I saw it. 
it's just everything about the whole thing is just annoying. Man. Everything. I it just I just hate the fact yeah, but that they, video. They stupid. That, that video took it over the line. It's dumb, dumb stuff. It, it it's just like I, I felt I feel the same way when I saw the whole thing with AJ Styles and that chick that was accusing him of sleeping with her or whatever. I feel the same way. It's just annoying stuff to watch on TV. Claire Lynch. Whatever. <laughs> it's, it's her name. It's just annoying stuff. Look at me. It's her name. Don't I haven't felt out. like this about a segment or any angle in so long. It just wow. It was so annoying, right, Amanda? Yes. Very. The two videos, and then they had to play it two times. Speaking of something. One minute, two women. <laughs> Speaking we saw a lot. Isn't that, I mean, the, we isn't, saw, that the voice, isn't that the voice of the guy who does the network stuff? We saw Summer Rae coming out of her locker room in tears. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the guy who's doing the voices on the network? That wasn't tears. That was just the effects of going deep throat. <laughs> network guy, right? That's the network guy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like it. I mean, I don't know who the hell. Something to really add on as well tonight, because apparently Joey doesn't like this idea. What? But, uh, a few people who are NXT fans, the Cosmic Wasteland. Yes. Stardust and the Ascension have created themselves a super villain-like faction where the Ascension are his henchmen type thing. Yeah, it happened on SmackDown. Yeah. So were they there tonight? Together? Yeah, they kind of ignored that, didn't they? Pretty much. Exactly. Exactly. I'm still yeah. excited that like the Ascension is still doing something on television because we were saying that they were doing nothing, that their careers were pretty yeah, but much they're done. They're, but they're, they're, but they're still doing nothing. <laughs> no, they're now jobbing doing jobbing. something. They're part of something. They're not just they're, jobbing I the Dudleys. Not doing they just job to the Dudley boys. What are you talking about? Yeah, and now they're not doing anything. Sorry. But now they're part of a fashion. We can actually say they're in a storyline. They weren't doing that before. But, Sean, let me ask you something. If you were in their position, would you rather job and look dumb? Or would you rather just sit in the back and collect a paycheck? I think Most... he would rather look dumb. <laughs> well, they're not, do... they're not jobbing or being dumb. they are not jobbing yes, right they now. Are jobbing. They're, they're not jobbing now. <laughs> they job to the Dudley boys. Before they were part of the Cosmic Alliance or Cosmic Wasteland. I'm talking about tonight. <laughs> Is that an applause? Tonight, yes. <laughs> Amanda is excited for what you're saying. Tonight is tonight. I wasn't applauding. Tonight. Well, you should applaud, Amanda. Anything I say, you should applaud. So I'll go over there. I'll go over there and give you a spanking. But anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> they did job. Tonight to the Dudley Boys. Yeah, they dropped. So cosmic schmosmic. No, they did, the Dudley Boys didn't even face him tonight. It was the Matadors that faced him tonight. Wait, who faced them? The Somebody Dudley Boys and the Matadors were wrestling. Oh, not... I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. So well, I don't know where you're talking about, but all right. <laughs> I had to double check because I was pretty sure there wasn't the Ascension. No, in the who Dudleys. fought the Ascension? The Ascension didn't fight tonight. Yes, they did. The, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> Apparently, you, I don't recall the Ascension being on tonight. <laughs> I'm checking it right now. All right, you check it. Because <laughs> I can tell you that they did. They were in the ring. Were they part of like a promo then that I'm not aware of or that I missed? I guess, but they were there. They were having a tag team contest scheduled uh, for They were fall. facing Roman Reigns and ah, Dean Ambrose. That and is... they jobbed to them. <laughs> well, wasn't it? That oh, was to them. Ah, yes. I knew it. Ambrose. I knew it. It's not the so Dudleys, and they're taking on Roman Reigns and Ambrose, which is a better position, in my opinion. doesn't matter. They jobbed, and they're still jobbing, and this whole cosmic thing wasn't around tonight. It didn't help them win the match. So they're still back to square one. Yeah. yeah. Nothing's changed. being part of something, that's what's changed. Saying that they're now doing something, that's well, what's changed. Well, if they're changed. a part of something, Sean, that the other person that's supposed to be a part of something wasn't there. True. So that kind of sucks if you're a part of something. I tell you, man, when uh, the horsemen, they didn't walk, they didn't ride around with no, you know, with one person. 
they had backup all the time. What yeah. about this idea, by the way, uh, since we talked about Sting uh, doing a good job taunting uh, Seth Rollins, um, can we see, let's talk about this for a second, can we see Seth Rollins, for one scenario, lose to John Cena, lose to Sting, or if he doesn't lose to Sting, lose to Sheamus and cash in his money in the bank? I think, I think Sheamus is... He's going to be part of something that night. I don't think they would have just done that for no reason. Yeah, well, he said he was. And um, I think whoever wins so that three belt, matches. it's either going to be Sting or, or uh, uh, Seth. It's going to get into a complication with, with, uh, with Sheamus for that, for that belt. Does, Seth, be one does of Seth Rollins belts. walk out with those belts? It's I hard know. to say because he has two belts, and I think WWE doesn't want to have uh, one guy having two belts. I think he's going to lose both belts. I think Sting's going to win the belt, and Sheamus is going to take the belt from him. And we're going to do what we've been hearing for a while about Sheamus being part of the authority. Hmm. And that's all I got to say. I, I, I really hope and pray that that's not what goes down in terms of the Sting wins the belt and then Sheamus beats him and takes the belt because that's just another way of yeah. spinning on Sting. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen. Bro. That's not, I don't, I don't care for that at all. Yeah, I really don't want that to happen. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I have been, I'm not, when we get to the pay per view, we're going to talk about it, but my, I'm not, I don't, I haven't decided yet because well, I'm starting to lean towards. Like we were talking about earlier with the Bellas and we were talking about with CM Punk, I'm starting to lean towards, I could see Seth Rollins absolutely walking out with both belts at Night of Champions and continuing well, here, his title reign. Here's the thing, I've, I've, I've seen somewhere where um, John Cena is supposed to face Seth Rollins for the United States title. So I think, I think Seth is going to lose the belt from that, yeah. from what I saw. And he's gonna have he's gonna have a rematch with Cena for for that belt for the United States title because I don't think he will be world champion at that point. So I think he will lose it. I if you're know. gonna give, if you're gonna give Sting an opportunity for this belt, and this may be the only time, I think this would be the only time. Uh, I think you might as well just give it to the guy. Right, absolutely, that I agree with. And by the way, just uh, I want to go back to the Superfly Jimmy Snooker thing for a second. You know, the guy's 73 years old, um, and uh, a lot of people, when they talk about this, including Jim Ross, you know, he references it like, oh, that was a 30-year-old case and blah, blah, blah. It, it could be a 70-year-old case. If somebody committed murder, somebody committed murder. Which is weird, because if you commit rape, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. That, that has a statute of limitations. This justice system doesn't make a lick of sense. It really, really, really doesn't. But bottom line is, is that you know this whole like almost kind of deflecting responsibility, and and also almost like, hey, why don't we you know just forget this? You know, it was thirty years ago. Who cares? How about the lady that got killed? <laughs> well, I, you know, know, honestly, I don't think she cares about anything right now. How about her family? You know what I mean? Like because it's thirty years old, we have to sweep it under the rung. Under the rug? I, I don't think so. If he did it, he should pay for what he did. That's it. Doesn't matter when he did it. It's that he did it. Yes. Well, hopefully, they will catch him and uh, try, you know, put him in trial. And well, they, they did catch him. I mean, he's not like he's on the run or anything. So. <laughs> You know, I don't think they could do anything to him. He's already old. He's senile. He's uh, delusional. He's an uh, old man. He's just, he's just pretty much done with it. What are they going to do? I don't know. Sentence him until he dies? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> are we sure? We'll put a lot of stress on him and he would die. Anyway, we got to go. Uh, thank you very much for listening to Roundtable Wrestling Radio. It's been awesome. A man who sleeps on the floor cannot possibly fall out of bed. And Bubblegum! <laughs>